Apparently the Mitchie Barrier not good enough, Haku. Sorry, I was just doing a, uh... Uh, dual live thing while I was like getting the stream out there for everyone. We'll start playing Spiral right now. Well, this is over. Gotta do my dailies, and that's one of the dailies. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna be trying out a new version of Spiral that uh, Kevin OG, you know, said, hey, try it out. I, I think my list is a little different from his, but not by a whole lot. And the idea is a uh, Punk Spiral. You know, you're playing more starters in the form of Vitelli and Xeomin. I can get you to Chaos Ruler and to Barone as your Omni Negate instead of something like, um, you know, we've been using Carol the Arclight or Trigate Wizard or Before Load Savage Dragon with Jet Sync Run and such. So, you know, doing that. And then we're uh, playing Gamma because Gamma can make Chaos Ruler. That's also pretty nice. Uh, one obvious noted uh, cut that I have right here is Forbidden Droplets, which I might regret. Uh, Forbidden Droplets has been very good for me in a lot of situations, but I have increased my number of relevant cards that go first by a lot, thanks to Xeomin and, and Emergency Teleport, so we'll kind of see how this all plays out. Uh, I am not, I have never played the punk cards before, I have a general idea on how they work, you know, Xeomin searches uh, Foxy Tune, uh, Foxy Tune summons uh, Deer Note, Deer Note and Xeomin make Chaos Ruler, that's like kind of that idea, and then when Deer Note goes to the graveyard, you special summon Xeomin, and then Xeomin plus Master Plan makes Burrow into Floor, that's like the idea. But I don't think there's technically a way in the Spiral Engine that you necessarily um, always access the Punk stuff. It's just more starters. I, what do you think about using Code Breakers and Parallel Exceed for more extenders? Uh, Code Breakers, I'm not a big fan of unless you have to because it requires another main deck brick. And Parallel Exceed, uh, same thing. It's only good with like Magician Souls because that's the only time it combos because it makes Dugaris and summons Master Plan. It doesn't combo with like Quick Fix or anything particularly well, so it's just a hard brick far too often. So I'm not a huge fan of it. Anyhow, let's. Uh, I haven't actually played much uh, rank this season. Uh, just a couple of dailies here and there. So you know, you guys can just get to see me do most of my grind on stream. It's kind of like the, the when I have time to grind, I stream is basically what I've been doing. So here we are. I've got time today. I'm off today, so it's like, all right, let's stream for like five hours and do some grinding. But yeah, Parallel Seed's like, a, a, it's very powerful when it works, but even in Spiral, the main thing you're doing with it is making a Dugaris, so it's just Monster Reborn number two. It's like, you might as well play World Legacy Succession at that point, and that card isn't quite as bricky. Uh, this hand is combo, but I am going second after having cut my... Um, Forbidden Droplets, so we'll see if I draw like a, a Punk card, because those are the cards I would have been playing, that I am playing in place of Forbidden Droplets. Ooh, uh, Synchron. So Synchron can really, you know, go crazy if they want to. It's like this is like a really strong uh, potential inboard setup, so I'd have to play through a whole lot. Ooh, hello. Sin Stardust Trail Pass. Interesting. Well, I... Alright. Sucks to be them, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna act, I'm gonna lead off with preparation rights. Go get into souls. Okay, if they're gonna uh, chuck a maxi at my face, I'm clearly called by the graving mat. I'm afraid like the reason they break is they have a whole bunch of hand traps in hand, but you know we'll see. <laughs> Hope you can play through such a big board. Yeah, I know Kevin, right? Can the punks do it? Now we'll go get Illusion of Chaos. Still playing Call of the Grave for obvious reasons. Card is absolutely busted. So we'll activate Illusion of Chaos. Add Souls. Uh, send back Illusion of Chaos. I guess I should leave with Terraforming f first. See if that resolves so I know what I want to do. But with the fact that I have um, this Assault Mission in hand and the Master Plan in hand means even if like they uh, Ghost Ogre this Spire Resort, I still have combo. So... All right, now that that's done, you want to lead off on souls, though I guess it doesn't really matter here, but it does matter for effect veiler, so they can have effect veiler. So we'll send master plan, special summon souls. Ah, they do have a response. Funny, it's time to normal summon quick fix. Let's see if they effect veiler now. Again, it doesn't matter because I do have the assault mission in hand, but ha, <laughs> yeah, that's why you always lead off on souls, everyone. It's it's great whenever you're trying to give people advice and tips on how the game works. And uh, you immediately get proven right by someone doing something incredibly silly. This is one of those things like, you know, they're going to learn this lesson once and never do it again. But 
that's kind of one of the benefits of playing such a low play rate deck is people just don't know how your cards work. They've never read a spa resort and they don't want to read it now. It does stop me from drawing cards, but who cares? So we'll go ahead rescue mission. Oh, they've already they haven't used Nash Blossom, but if they had one, they would have used it by now, so I'm just gonna go straight into double helix. Not really that worried about it. At this point, I just kind of need to get on with my life. <laughs> so I'll go ahead, Sleeper. Yeah, people people do not read Spiral cards. It's funny because, like, Spiral of all decks doesn't have a lot of complicated cards to read. Like, if you look at Spiral Resort, reading this card, that is not a complicated card. Not a whole lot of text on all these, you know? Well, they have something. Is it Nibiru? Can I play around Nibiru? I'm going to activate the souls and get this rescue mission in Graveyard just in case it's Nibiru. I still have the ability to search my super agent, which will get me where I want to go, basically, but, you know. You can definitely draw an Ash Blossom next turn. I do not care about that. So we'll call Monster. We'll get Quick Fix on field. I guess if I do want to play around Nib, I just make Appaloosa right now, because I have the Rescue Mission in Graveyard. And I can go search the Super Agent. I got something. I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the Appaloosa. You can't go wrong with it. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure. So now we'll activate Resort. Is, they have something in Graveyard I wasn't... Does this card have... No, this doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, they don't have anything in Graveyard as far as can kill them. Does this have a quick effect? Nope, okay. Um, we're just gonna... Okay, they had Nibiru and... I could have played through Nibiru 15 different ways there. There was no point they could have used Nibiru there that would have mattered once I saw the the Nibiru prompt and put Rescue Mission in Graveyard. And even then, I still had, um, I still had, like, Drone Agent combo, which can kind of get, get me a little bit further. I'd have Drone Agent Sleeper, and I'd clear their board, and they'd be drawing an Ash Blossom, so they were screwed. Alright, well, I mean, I didn't get to do anything there, really, but but beat up deck that bricked on three hand traps. But hey, when you run hand traps, that's what happens. Nice maxi imper or infect failer in Nibiru opponent, you know? You're playing cards that don't do anything because you have to... That's one of the things I like about Spiral, is you... I am still running Gamma, I guess, which is a hand trap, but... Uh, you can potentially win going second without relying on cards that don't do anything, like hand traps. Alright, so I open Xeomen, Souls, Terraforming. Aside from the Driver and the Illusion of Chaos, obviously a great hand. Hello, Guns Blazing. Thanks for watching. Alright, so we're going into Runic. It's probably Runic Sprite, which means I'm going to lose because I lost the coin flip. This card, add Fountain. Ooh, Royal Fountain. Fancy. This is an Ultra, right? Yeah. Very fancy. I'm gonna banish three of my cards. Okay, they banished a resort, which fine. I don't need that many resorts. They do get to draw three cards, which is the annoying thing here. Dash would obviously be wonderful here, just get them off of all that. So now the point is the problem is do they run a million hand traps? Or not hand traps, uh, floodgates. If they're on Pot of Desires, I'm guessing they're on the floodgate version. Special Summon Souls, Terraforming into Village. That is an option, but I guess I have Normal Summon Xeomin to, to kind of continue my plays. But the problem is they're going to set Floodgates, right? Like, if they just flip Floodgates, I don't do anything. Very funny. Alright, so I'm going to activate this Illusion of Chaos. Debate Nash Blossom. I'm guessing I'm going to put a Souls back, so my further Illusion of Chaos is... Yeah, they don't, they don't know that I put that Souls there, but... So now I'm going to activate Souls. Send Master Plan. Shuffle my deck.
Problem is, like, they start flipping Teak Boo and stuff, right? Let's activate Terraforming here. Uh, this is kind of rough, but I mean, if I normal some Quick Fix, I have combo, but I lose to whatever... Yeah, I mean, you get Secret Village, play Secret Village, normal summon Xiaomin, do the Illusion of Chaos line, or the uh, Chaos line. I'm gonna, you know what? I haven't used the Punk stuff. Let's go with the Punk line. The problem here is if I activate Secret Village, they're just going to clear my Magician Souls with a Runic card, right? Yeah, so like, this doesn't actually do anything, which is very funny. But like if I if I oh they banished stretching mission that sucks. Uh, so if like if I get Pyrozort, oh hey. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna chain now. Yeah, like there was no playing around that. Um, the problem here is I'm, I'm like I could have done more plays. I could have made Pyrozort got quick fix or whatever, or they would have banished. They would have hit their Spire Resort regardless, right? Oh, they banished my freaking Foxy Tune. Okay, yeah, that's game. This hand doesn't do anything anymore, right? Ziamin doesn't do anything without the Foxy Tune in hand. Yeah. This doesn't really do anything. Blocker first. Oh, I guess. Yeah, but they had they they could get the Kevin. They can search in the gate too. Also, they can just pop blocker. Also, they have floodgates. Also, like blocker first. What does blocker first do? I wouldn't have any spellcasters on the field anymore, right? The entire point with souls would be the spellcaster that I have on field. I know nobody reads Blocker, Kevin, but it wouldn't. Once you link off your your guy, nothing happens. Ooh, wow! I drew the entire Punk Suite going second. I still, yeah, I still have an uh, one a coin flip, which is annoying. But here we are. All right, so I guess. Oh, it's Striker. Striker. I might be able to just win this with Spiral Resort. Okay, I need to. What am I gonna do with these, right? Like Foxy Toon, I could special summon. I can send Rescue Mission and Foxy Toon, or like Deer Note to the graveyard or Zeom into the graveyard to special summon. Because like with uh, the Deer Note in my hand, I could special summon the Deer Note from hand, right? Yeah, that works. Uh, what they search? I was too busy talking to myself. Uh, they just okay. They just added uh, engage. Sure. Oh, hey, Nessie's pretty good. So we're going to activate Spire Resort first, see if they have, like, a, a card that does anything here. Okay, there's Nash. That's fine. Maybe I should have... Hmm, I don't know. All right, so I can do... So the problem here is that they have, like, Widow Anchors and stuff, which will stop me to some degree. So I need to figure out how to use Punk cards, right? So I can put a Rescue Mission to Graveyard, doesn't do anything right now. I can special summon a Zeomin with this Foxy Tune, but without... That would just give me our Rescue Aggression in Graveyard, but then I can send this card for... I can just send this card to special summon Zeomin. So, like, I want to lead... Z Zeomin's a uh, hard once per turn there, right? So, like, if I get Widow Anchored, I get annoyed, but, like, then... Uh, I can really want and then can send. So let's start with uh, Ziamin. That's just like my best normal summon in this situation. Wait, what? Oh! Uh, I guess I'm just gonna Nessie so I can go into Baron. I, 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 I don't have it. I drew both of my other punk cards, so I can't actually use Ziamin effect. Deerno didn't do anything, right? I guess I could have like Chaos Ruler. Hmm. I should have. I should have like just made Deerno then use Nessie, and led Chaos Ruler. Yeah, I'm not familiar with these cards. Uh, let's jack a look. See what happens. Uh, why not summon Deer first? Because I don't read the cards. <laughs> Ooh.
Uh, man, if I had gotten a spiral name in graveyard, I messed this up. I should have summoned Deer Knight and gone for Chaos Ruler. Um, I was thinking like going to Barone would do something, but not really, right? They have the the, the Ray in graveyard. But I mean, is Chaos Ruler? Let's let's check to see if Chaos Ruler is good because I'm going to make a Barone and see what happens. Because if they had a Widow Anchor, I just lost a Widow Anchor, right? I just play I, I go with the dangers at that point and see what happens, but. I'd, I'd have two dangers, then I could go into, uh, Curious? Okay, they had the Widow Anchor, so I was never resolving Chaos Ruler. But then I would have Chaos Ruler, Danger, Danger, and that would be, uh... Only has one spell, right? Yeah. And that would be enough... I pop the Shizuku, they have Ray. Yeah, I, I played this really poorly. I need to learn how to use these punk cards. So like the, the play there was go straight for Chaos Ruler off of the Deer Note Summon, then Danger, I would have drawn another Danger. I didn't know I had the second Danger in him, or was getting the second Danger, but that would have set me up for Curious. And then I could Curious set up Master Plan, and I could just use Foxy Tune to discard my rescue mission for Master Plan. Very awkward in a 60 card deck drawing both Foxy Tune and Deer Note. But that's a. I need to learn how to do that. Uh, this does do it. I think I might be giving a Blast Resort here. Do, oh, I didn't put Mothman in this deck, did I? I cut Mothman because people kept telling me to. Uh, well. I don't see any prompts here, so we'll go Ash. Jack Souls. And I do have the rescue mission in hand to like follow up here. So a big red. It's a master plan. Draw. I guess I'll add an extra rescue just for further extension because I don't need a salt mission just yet. Draw two. I really want to draw into like a punk card if I can. Ooh, I drew the speaker village, so I can just um. Ooh, also drew a spire resort, so I'll use that. I'll just normal some quick fix. Drone at this point. Uh, do I want to go Borg Blocker first in this variant, or do I want to go Super Agent first in this variant? I guess I want to go Borg Blocker because I don't need the Borg Blocker for anything else. Right? You just put Helix below Borg Blocker. So in that case, we'll go. We're going to like use Curious to get to Destrudo for Baron off of like Super Agent here. I'll Borg Blocker here because I want to get a card back at end phase. Also, it's good to chain block your mash plan when your opponent hasn't used an Ash Blossom, even though you don't think they have one. That's just like the safe way to play as far as I'm aware. So I had Sleeper and Super Agent. And we'll play the Spire Resort before we get to Double Helix, so it's not uh, susceptible to an Imperm or Baylor at any point. And we'll add Super Agent now because we don't want to mill it off our Curious in a second. So add Super Agent. Rescue Master Plan. I need to save a rescue later for my Secret Village, though, so I need to keep that in mind. I have gone through a couple already. So we'll get Assault. You still want to do Selene at this point because, like, it's just you're making both Appaloosa and. Firewall, so a three is just good to have. So we'll Celine. Uh, 
There's also a world where you just leave some lean on the field as your um, spellcaster later, because you're going to have tons of material in this combo, I believe. Alright, so we'll go... Super... Go into this setup now. Quick fix, discard assault. Summon quick fix, hat big red. Get the last big red. We'll assault mission in our drone. Ta da! Now we can stack their decks, see what they're on. Ah, they are a trap deck, so we're going to give you a spell because we're going to end on Secret Village. I mean, I mean, I'd rather... it just doesn't matter. Yeah. So we'll call Spell. Summon Quick Fix, of course. Oh, I'm out of cards to search because I did draw the last resort at this point. So now we're going to go into Link Kribo here, then discard Rescue, then uh, set up Curious via Dolahan. And we'll have one Rescue Mission extra. It would be nice to run anima for these situations, so you can just tr turn this drone, but I don't think you have the room for it. Drawing the extra missions did mean I've kind of low on cards in hand in total. But shouldn't be a big deal at the end of the day here. Playing into the trap deck and we've got sleeper and we're gonna have an omni negate, so it should work out just fine. So we send to Strudo. I'll be fine as long as it's not double evenly matched. Now we're going to call Spell. Summon the Super Agent. Then we can do Strudo off of Drone and then make Barone with Super Agent plus Drone or plus um, Strudo. So we do this maneuver. Can I? No, I can't. That'd be silly. So we'll go this. This seems like the most intuitive way to do this. All right, so now I just need to make Firewall, Appaloosa. I'm probably going to use my drone. Hmm. So I need a rescue mission back master plan to end on the board, and then we'll make we're, we'll make Appaloosa. We have to make Appaloosa. That's obvious. Wish I had one more card in hand, right? Because that would make it easier to make Mascarena. I can I can make Firewall with these two. I can make Mascarena with two quick fixes. But I'm down a card in hand to do that. I could drone back an agent. For a card in hand? I guess. That's kind of garbage, but we'll do it. Because I'll have a card in hand from Borg Blocker to discard for, um... IP Mascarena. IP's not important. It's, it's better to do it than not. I mean, I guess maybe I should, like, have more cards for recovery, but, you know, I'm trying to get to the good end board. Obviously, this, this kind of happened because I drew three cards. I was going to search. I should have three more cards in hand at this point. But, you know, here we are. So we'll, make, we'll make IP Masquerade. Ooh. Ooh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I don't, I'm not going to have my Firewall Dragon co-linked. I, I had to make Firewall. Oh, I, I, there was no way I could have done that. Ooh, that's bad. I really messed this up. Well, if you mess up... Don't continue to mess up, right? Because I can't have my Firewall Dragon co-linked anymore. I'm just going to make Firewall Dragon here. 
Yeah, Kevin, I didn't like see that far ahead, I guess. I'm just going to make Firewall Dragon here. Oh no, man. I gotta link off this. I have to link off these two because I won't have room for my sleeper. So yeah, we're just gonna make a freaking Nightmare Phoenix. That was very odd. Uh, can't get rid of that. Gotta get rid of these three. Man, navigating this was awkward. <laughs> well, this is how you learn a deck, or a version of the deck. Thankfully, I get 30 seconds back on the end of my turn. I really love that change. So we'll board blocker, add back resort, I guess. Doesn't really matter. So, like, double evenly match would be a problem here, but, you know. If they're a trap deck, they're in trouble. If you have Lava Golem, that'd be bad. No, I will not activate Burn the Floor. You've been waiting this whole time, opponent. What have you got? I guess I should have summoned Curious over here for zone purposes. But that never comes up the way I was thinking. I guess now I'll know when I'm doing this combo, I summon Curious to the right of my Helix instead of the left. Battle phase! Oh, he does have the evenly. Does he have double evenly is the question. There's the first evenly. I will negate. Alright, no double evenly, so we survived that. So, there we go. Set, set. I know one of these cards is going to be Prosperity, which doesn't do anything. Ah, they lose. Sick. So I just, uh, I get a Sleeper Pop. We'll go with the two on the side, because I think that's funny. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, they kind of figured out what's going on there. Alright, well, there we go. I messed up my zones a little bit, but, you know, we're, we're fine. So I, I know now to summon Curious to the right-hand side and of Appaloosa onto the left DMZ to clear up room to summon my Fireball Dragon in IP Masquerina. Good to know, good to know. Oh, this hand does it, but I am going second, so it doesn't do it. Double Small World, pretty bad going second. You're basically losing the plus one cards you have. Oh my, is this just uh, Dark Beckoning Beast Sprite? The the Spirit Beast Sprite or whatever. Uh, Kevin, I can't... I guess I could summon Helix in a different zone to set that up. But it doesn't... I summoned Helix in the zone I would want my Firewall Dragon because I was going to link off Helix. I could have just summoned Appaloosa on the right hand EMC instead of the left hand because I thought I was clearing, making up zones. So it, it wouldn't have mattered if I had just summoned Appaloosa where I had my Selene. I think 60 is better because Spiral needs more gas and you can't fit all the gas you want to 40, Masato. Like, we, we weren't running 40 before we got Illusion of Chaos. Why would we be running 40 now, right? Good old Giganto. Is this, uh, you can only activate once per turn? 
So, uh, does Carrot just negate and dis I need to know if Carrot negates the activation. I guess I'll see it if they summon Carrot, right? So I don't... Drawing Distrito is kind of awkward because it's not actually Dragon Ravine, so I can't do anything with Ancient Fairy Dragon. I can, like, Blind Fire Super Agent, Distrito off of Souls, uh, make Barone with the Super Agent and Distrito in that situation, but that doesn't really do a lot. Is gonna legit. I mean, you know, you expect to see a lot of sprite. Well, you know, it's it's platinum four, buddy. Haven't you like? You know, you're playing sprite. You should already be in diamond. Do you have any spiral version that can deal a little better with max C? Nope. I mean, I've got the World FDK. I, I did a video on that. That will beat some decks that don't have, like, Nibiru. Because you FDK them functionally. It doesn't matter what they draw off of Maxi in those situations. But, I mean, you still lose to Imperm and Valor in those decks, too. Okay, so... Did they get Carrot in Graveyard? They did not get Carrot in Graveyard. Uh, ooh, Etelli. That's fun. So this will... This should force pretty much anything I want, right? So I'm going to I'm gonna lead off an Itali to force their, their red. Or their Masquerina. Either one, really. Sure, dude. This is, this is the stupid thing about Maxi. Like, they got to do their whole first turn combo nonsense, and I'm still getting Maxied. Like, this card doesn't stop. Ah, whatever. So we'll summon Xiamen. I kind of want to play one Ghost Digger, just for those Itali. I know that's bad, really. So, are they going to let me get away with the Xeomen? It's right to let me get to Xeomen and then make me pay the life points. Yeah, okay. So, send Gigantic. Knock an Illusion of Chaos, put back one small world, add souls. Small World away the other Illusion of Chaos. Not gonna activate Souls. Summon. Send Master Plan. I should have done Small World first because now I'm opening myself to the, their top deck being an Ash. That was bad. I should I should definitely have Small Worlded first there. Maybe I should have kept the other... I need all these cards in hand, though, right? Because I need my Small World Send. To go get to Quick Fix here. Now I can try to mess some stuff up with Quick Fix. thing is, I can't use Battle Phase to force IP Mascarena. I guess I could threaten it. Alright, so now I've got the big red in hand. They've let me get that far. So now I just need to force this Masquerina. So how can I force Masquerina? I could call Super Agent if I hit uh, Destrudo off of either of the ones, make Barone, Barone force the pot, negate the activation. Then big red and go for lethal? That sounds right. Oh. I guess this was still wrong to do it in this order, but... As long, like, it doesn't really matter as long as I can force a Masquerina activation. So what are you summoning back? Just a blue? 
Okay, the order here doesn't actually matter. Summoning back Maxi. Okay, now they're using Mask. Okay, that's great. I'm glad I held the agent afterwards if they're going to mask now. Are they going for Appaloosa? Going for zero Boros. Interesting. Okay. Does that beat me? I have to blind call agent here with Big Red? Now the zero Boros clear everything. Now I have to blind call agent and I win? Glad I saved the agent, especially into Zero Boris. Okay, uh, they, they're getting an Ash Blossom off the top, so I have to play around that. Gamma! They have Gamma... Okay, that beats me then. Jeez, okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> Maxi, everyone. They drew Ash and Gamma off Maxi in a Zero Boros play. Oh boy. So I could have, you know, they would have popped my my master plan. I search, but they mash blossom the search, which I know they have, and I lose. I just lost to Maxi there. Game's over. God, Maxi's so rough. Like, the guy... I, I played really, really well. I wasn't doing anything degenerate. And I lost because they Maxied me after I had to lose the coin flip. It's just real rough. Real rough. Uh, this does it, right? You just go for souls with Ash in hand to stop a, um... They have the Ash. Okay, so I have to normal summon Xiaomin and go for Chaos Ruler here. That's fine. So normal summon you, activate you. Alright, so I haven't done this before, but you just add Foxy Tune, right? So you add Foxy Tune. Let's make sure I do this right. You can uh, da, 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 you can You can tribute one punk monster, blah blah blah. You can send this card, plus one card for hand, send one card to the graveyard, and if you do special summon then you summon the deer note with this. I wish I had a, a rescue in hand or something, but yeah. So I can summon Deer Note here. Send the excess ash. Summon Deer Note. Now we'll go into Chaos Ruler. Now we're just hoping to mill a Master Plan. Maybe a Quick Fix and a Super Agent. Maybe draw a Danger off this uh, Chaos Ruler. So we will Chain Block the Chaos Ruler, obviously. With Deer Note. I guess I want to summon the Xiamen, because Foxytune... I guess Foxytune would be a lethal, but... Or not lethal, but... doesn't really do anything yet. We're just going to summon the Xiamen here. Alright, let's see if I get some good mills. So Resort is bad. Prep is bad. Remus is bad. Prep is bad. Wow! That is an incredible series of mills. If I had gotten either Illusion of Chaos, Souls... Jeez, man, this is awful. But why do people play this version of the deck? Mask Rain doesn't do anything because I don't have any summons. I had so many good cards to hit there. Master Plan, Quick Fix, uh, any of the Souls cards, Souls, Illusion of Chaos. Man, oh well. This tan don't do anything anymore. Yeah. I guess I could have, like... I, I didn't have a light and a dark monster, right? Yeah, so I couldn't, like... I couldn't even go Mask Arena, Chaos Ruler, Summon to give myself something to do. But, yeah, I got no... I can't... I got no cards to, or, to Summon Ruler again. Yep. Special Summon Blue. Oh, that doesn't actually do anything. That still doesn't do anything. 
they have to go into Gigantic and uh, Ash that. No space for Zombie Vampire? No, there's definitely no space in this deck. The Chaos Rulers are already kind of a, a concession to that. Okay, so they have Elf. So they, can have, they have the Red, but that doesn't... Still doesn't actually do anything. Got a danger could have potentially done something, right? I just activate a danger and potentially draw into more cards. Can't believe I didn't hit a danger, an illusion of chaos, a magician souls, a master plan, a quick fix. Um, what else did I have? I don't know. That's basically it, really. Still a lot of cards. They have to go into Gigantic Sprite here, right? Yeah, there's Gigantic. Now I ash this, but they can't red it because the red will have to send the Gigantic Sprite who won't then have, be able to use his effect. If this person activates red here, not realizing how Gigantic Sprite works. I guess they just wanted a high attack gigantic sprite. Okay, yeah, there we go. So they could still Zeus me though, right? God, I could have I could have even like milled some rescues so I'd follow up for next turn if I did draw a spiral name or something. Man. Battle phase, yep, here we go. So I don't have any punks left in my deck to activate Xeomin again. Uh, does that do it? Okay, so if I activate Spire Resort, summon Quick Fix, they red me. Can I, okay, I, I, can st I can crash this Xeomin, so let, let's like play from that perspective. If I crash Xeomin, can I set up a board they probably can't beat considering their hand so far? I normal summon Quick Fix. I can Link Kribo, Big Red, Borg Blocker. <sighs> can I do something with the Tuner, right? I can... I need, okay, I need to activate the Spire Resort to see if they have an Ash or not. The problem I have right now is I need... This Red's going to beat me, right? If I activate any monster effect, this Red beats me. I can I can get Super Agent, go to battle, attack, go into Ancient Fairy Dragon. Oh, you can't, but you can't use Ancient Fairy Dragon Special Summon effect, right? If you can, uh, da, 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 where is it? During main phase, you can special on one level. Four. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate. So I can't use battle and still special summon off Ancient Fairy Dragon. Dang. Um, I could get Super Agent blind and try to get red to pop it? Let's say I normal summon quick fix and they red me. I can big red quick fix. Still doesn't do anything. Yeah, super Age is the play here. I wish I could summon this chaos ruler because then I could like normal summon master plan and crash her. So we'll call Monster, see if they want to negate that. Okay, I win. Great. So I'm going to Big Red, Super Agent, Ancient Fairy Dragon. I'm just going to set up my board, right? I'm just going to have to beat Sleeper. Sure. All right, so Big Red on Super Agent. This, this doesn't work still, right? Because I don't have... 
big red in rotation anymore. Like, I go into Ancient Fairy Dragon here. Like, this still doesn't get me to Master Plan, does it? Like, I don't have any cards in hand. Kevin, I can't add Spire Resort with Ancient Fairy Dragon. That's not how this works. If I activate Sp and pop Spire Resort, I can only add Dragon Ravine or Secret Village. Oh, Kevin, you poor soul. Kevin, I hear a lion to me. Uh, what do I want to draw still? I kind of want that Super Agent in Graveyard, right? I guess I want to put back Foxy Tune because it turns my other Xeomans on. I, I got two Xeomans in the grave already, that's. But I've got three emergency. I got two to emergency teleport and Xeomans still, so I guess that's still better. I mean, I didn't have any other plays. Like, this was it. Like, if I gone for the quick fix stuff, they just read me, and I big read quick fix, add nothing. Ah, Feather Duster. Funny. Okay, well, that's going to keep me off of my um, follow-up. Uh, does Ronin Toten do it? Do they have a Swap Fogging Graveyard? I don't see a Swap Fogging Graveyard. Uh, but they do have the Gigantic Sprite again, so they can Gigantic Sprite for Swap Frog, send a Swap Frog, Ronin Toad and Summon. Uh, this can, like, set up whatever they... Okay, well, Elf does it too. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have a play there off of that bad Chaos Ruler Mill. If they po if they kill this Ancient Fairy Dragon, I can su finally summon this Chaos Ruler, right? Because I... Do I have a Dark? Oh, yeah, I don't have a Dark. Wow. Jeez Louise, that was such a bad mill. <laughs> Unbelievable. If I had a dark, I would have been able to add the dark to hand. So summon red, summon sprite. So this will get them to blue, which gets the jet, which gets to everything. And they can elf again, so they can have carrot and red. So no matter what card I draw, they'll have two negates, and it's for any card. That does it, yeah. Even if they didn't, even if they messed up, I don't really care about the win rate. I'm trying to play correctly. Lost because I cut the third snake. Yeah, right, Kevin. Uh, every card that I milled, I would be playing regardless of having snake or not. Also, snake doesn't do anything there. because I, I mean, I could have drawn something, I guess, but... I lost because preparation of rights was not illusion of chaos. That's why I lost. I don't know. I should have won one game if I had played my punk cards better, but that game was just the punk cards completely failing me. Uh, this hand doesn't do a whole lot, honestly, but it's got Ash Blossom, so. Oh, set five pass. All right, boys, we're playing against Floodgates. Let's go. Oh. If I negate this, they're doing that because they don't have what they want, right? You just negate that because they're searching for something that does something. This is like an F, just an FTK, and they don't. It was like a bot because that was a very fast activation. Okay, yeah, there shouldn't be two cards that kill me here. I do have synchro monsters. This is like six thousand damage. That's only five thousand damage, right? Okay, it's just a dumb FTK bot. Here we go. Alright, so now I can just activate souls. I just need to draw cards at this point, so I'm just going to special summon, send to... I guess I can do the... the Z I've got the Xeomin in hand, but I just want to see what I draw here. Yeah, that doesn't... Okay, there we go. Like, my backup plan was activate Xeomin there, obviously. Which should probably be lethal. 
we're just going to do a lethal attack here as fast as possible because this is a dumb FTK bot. Alright, so we'll just do this as quick as possible, which is a Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Welcome to Master Duel. This kind of deck is so much better. <laughs> See ya, Kevin. Stop stop trying to tell me how Ancient Fairy Dragon works. And get some sleep so you figure it out yourself. My right, first. My plan was hopefully I get to keep my Spire Resort and so I can next turn add Spire Resort. Then Ancient Fairy Dragon pops Spire Resort, add Dragon Ravine. Or uh, add Secret Village. and I'd have other plays, basically, if I needed them. Going first, this is a very good hand. So we're going to lead off on Terraforming because that baits. Okay, six. So we're going to start with Spire Resort. I don't need... Curious. I can just Curious for, um... I don't even need to go into Curious, basically. I can... I, I don't have the Secret Village. I, I, maybe I should have saved the Terraforming? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, they have Maxi, don't they? They got something that they can activate at any point. And they're waiting for me to special summon. Oh, I'm so tired of Maxi. I'm so, so tired of Maxi. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens here if I go for Ravine. I'm just gonna go straight into Ancient Fairy Dragon, Destrudo, Secret Village. If I can here. So since. Suchinoko. Yeah, there's Maxi. Oh, I'm so sick of this card, dude. I love playing this game except when I see that dumb bug. Oh, man. It's always Maxi, dude. It's just always Maxi. And there's nothing you can do about it except stop having fun, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just going to set this and hope. I mean, I'm just going to pass my turn, right? Like, I don't have a clear line to get to a spellcaster here. Uh, even with the Strudo, like an Ancient Fairy Dragon, pop, go get the Secret Village, but then I don't have a Spellcaster, right? So it doesn't even stop them from getting spells. Yeah, I just freaking lose. I don't know. I'm just... Show me the Sprite Starter and I'll concede. I mean, I'm running the cards that beat Maxi, right? I'm running Gamma, I'm running Ash, I'm running uh, Call by the Grave. I guess I'm running 60 cards, so maybe I should be playing a more consistent deck that can cut, that can play all those cards and still bait it. I don't know. I don't want to play cross out, and I don't want to play Maxi because it's not fun. So they're on Prosperity, so this is like Labyrinth or something. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's freaking Medulce. Okay, uh, they're just gonna. They're not gonna kill me, but they're gonna lock me out of the game. Oh yeah, sure. Call by the grave. I can't. I can't beat a call by the grave. So I had plays there, potentially, if I like draw like Illusion of Chaos or Magician Souls. But if they're just going to have a Call by the Grave sitting in their back row, they're going to Call by the Grave my Master Plan, and I can't beat that. Might as well stop wasting time, right? They back seed me, they won. They're a better player. I don't know. I'm not digging this punk stuff very much. It doesn't seem very good. I haven't used it a whole lot, though, but we'll see. Oh, look! I had full combo and Ash Blossom, but I lost the coin flip, so it does not matter. Hey, a Luber the Boober of Duber. Well, I do have the Ash Blossom here. Hopefully, they don't have the call by the uh, cross out. Activate Branded Fusion. Activate Ash Blossom. See where it goes from there. Oh, 
I'll buy. See, they have the outs. I never draw the outs, and it really bothers me. <laughs> That's not true. I, I have drawn maxi outs when I get maxi before. But like, you know, why am I playing hand traps in this game? When I do draw them, they don't do anything. Would it be worth trying? Draw and lock bird. No. Why would that matter? Draw, draw and Lockbird does not do really much to stop Sprite at all. It keeps them off of like their second starter or their or their um their uh like because the thing is like if they already have the jet, it's not great into Sprite because Sprite does most of their summoning from deck with like gigantic Sprite and starter. So draw is only triggered on the summon of blue and the activation of like what else? That's it, right? Because everything else summons from deck, so Droll doesn't do anything into Sprite. It's kind of why Sprite's really good, because Droll's really good. Could maybe work with their Arfthal. If you're using Where Arfthal to add Droll, you're... That's terrible. That That's so much extra inconsistency. All because you might sometimes draw a one-drop in a Where Arfthal and get maxied. Droll does stop us, but his... I'm thinking DK's point is, oh, maybe sometimes you'll just, like, you know... Stop under maxi and then draw them. But, like, the best deck in the format doesn't care about draw, so why would you play draw? Alright, so they uh, they hard drew the. Alright, they didn't search Brandon in red, they just hard drew it, so they set it. So, okay, how can I beat this Mirror Jade, Guardian Chimera, Mirror Jade? I probably can't, right? Because I'm not running Cerberus. Cerberus, I would have been running Cerberus in the past, but I'm not now. Um, terraforming. I can like souls, souls draw too. I, okay, we're gonna we're gonna open up with terraforming. See what happens. All right, that resolves. So my hope here is that they use their mirror jade on my quick fix. Problem is I can't be. I don't think I can beat the second mirror Jade because I didn't draw like a call by the grave or anything. All right, does he mirror Jade me here? No. Okay. Uh, I don't want to bait with prep because I might want to draw off of it with souls. Uh, what do I want to keep in hand here? I need the big red, obviously. Can I... I can set the... If I set the big red and force Mirror Jade with the Unicorn, they just Mirror Jade banish, summon Guardian Chimera, and pop my big red with the Guardian Chimera, and then I've got nothing. So I can't set this big red. What, does the Small World give me a card that does anything here? Not really. I guess I send back Illusion of Chaos so I can draw two. Cause like I'm not, I'm gonna draw off the Spire Resort because I don't think I have to worry about that right now. If they just flip a call by the grave, I, I guess I lose here. That's fine. Sometimes you lose. Super Poly, really? I gotta use like a Luber and yeah, my souls? That's fine. To get Dragos to Pelia. Oh, Masquerade. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. But they don't have any cards in hand for Brandon and. Wait, just. Hold on. That's not how Brandon Red works. Uh, so they have Brandon and Red set clearly, or they would have used it. So I can't Big Red here. Because I'll just negate. I guess I could Big Red. I could small... I don't have... I took Mothman out of my deck. Dang it. I could have small world Nessie, Mothman, S Super Agent, Blind Fired Super Agent to force their set. But I still lose to the Mirror Jade, right? They haven't used Mirror Jade. Um, 
So Smarl doesn't really do anything here anymore. Hmm. How did I rank down to plat 4? I haven't ranked down. What? It's a new season, dude. <laughs> you can't rank down to plat 4 from Diamond. Uh, so I guess I just need to... Blind fire Nessie and hope I don't discard the big red. It's like a 50-50 here. Okay, well, sure. It's just going to cost me a bunch of life points, but... Just lose tons of life points to Masquerade here. <laughs> I discarded the Big Red. Well, that's game. <laughs> I was trying to... I was going to, like, force this with a... Oh, does that do anything? Kind of does something. Not into this idiot, though. I'm going to, like, use Destrudo here under Masquerade. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Hey, Magic, thanks. So I activate Destruder here. They're going to, ma they should be masquerading it. Uh, something called Jackalope. Did they mirror Jade? Okay, they don't mirror Jade, that's cool. A good Chaos Ruler here. That's pretty funny. That can, like, go to battle. Oops. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon loses my battle phase. You know what? Let's try to get lucky. It's just being silly. I think I already lost this game from the Super Poly. Are you kidding me with this deck? Okay, I'm done playing Punk. I, I have two Chaos Ruler effects. Both got me absolutely nothing. Not even good mills. I'm done. This is garbage. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm done playing this. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Every time I've resolved that card, it, nothing happens. Ooh, boy. Gemalock Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark World No More does not win that game. I'm still facing Branded in Red. Dark World No More would have been absolutely terrible there. Uh, Puya, no. Everyone who was Diamond goes down to Platinum. Of course, then I draw this hand, which is Brick Turbo. I don't know, dude. This is just, I'm having bad luck today. Why didn't I set the big red? Because they had branded in red, John. They would have branded in red, made Guardian Chimera, and popped my big red. My only chance was to play through it by keeping it in my hand. How does this combo? This No, this doesn't combo because I drew the freaking I drew the freaking O-line, right? I can't even go into a ward on. I'm I'm just having the worst day, aren't I? Got the assault mission in hand. Does that get me there? I think it actually kind of gets me there. It's just bad. So I, uh, Borg Locker discard assault, assault in drone. And best deck while well, I draw the O Lion and the Jetson Grind. I guess I need to get this Jetsick on in Graveyard anyhow, so I'm going to do that now and then discard Assault Mission there. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have quick fixes in rotation, so I don't need to do that just yet. Now we Big Red Quick Fix. Uh, Steph, it had to be branded in red because they did not activate their Mirror Jade turn one. And you just have to assume it is. 
You, you can't live your life playing suboptimally like that. Like that, them having branded in red there was more likely than the 50 50 chance, right? Like, there's no reason for them not to search branded red if that was expulsion. Uh, you can draw a golden land forever, sure. Yeah. Well, this deck can't beat sleepers, so I'm pretty good here. Activate effect. Call trap card. Master plan. Activate master plan. Get rescue mission. Uh, uh, so I can't make... Aurordon doesn't really do anything for me here because I have the O-line in hand, right? And I don't have a way to shuffle it back. So my best play here is... I need to link off this master plan to get another quick fix in the play yard. Uh, do I have two? I don't have three spells. Dang, I'm one spell short of Selene, so I can't do Selene plays. Um, I can quick fix this hard rescue mission. Uh, I have to like use up my jet synchron here. God, this is so janky. Okay, well, whatever. So quick fix this card. Jet Synchron. I'm going to have to, like, I need to get to AFD, and AFD can summon O-Lion, and that'll get me to Braver at the very least. Right? So I just need to get to Distrito. Oh, I could have added Big Red, discarded Big Red with Jet, and that would have gotten me to Selene. That was a thought. Uh, now I just need to, like, Aurora doesn't do anything in four, so I just need to make, like, a, I can make Braver right now, that's very funny. I can, I can make Aurora Don, but that doesn't do anything, right? I just need to make, um, Curious. And this makes Curious. Yeah, I don't have enough spells. I could have done the big red discard play, but I think this is going to work the same way either way. So we'll go send Distrito here. I'll add Sleeper because I don't want to mill it. Get another Spire Resort. Build Super Agent, which I guess is fine. I'm just going to search the Quick Fix with this. So I'll add Quick Fix. We'll rescue Master Plan. So the Master Plan. Over here, add rescue, then we'll quick fix, discard quick fix, get my other big red, then we'll quick fix, discard rescue mission. Then we will Distrudo. Make Ancient Fairy Dragon. Ancient Fairy Dragon effect. Uh, pop. Add Secret Village. Then we can use Ancient Fairy Dragon to summon O-Lion.
Then we'll use O-Lion plus Master Plan to make Braver. Oh, I should have used H-Fairy Dragon to make Braver, duh. Oh, it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to use my Rescue Mission here. Uh, I don't actually want that O-Lion effect, right? It doesn't do anything. Okay, there we go. I got to I get to strip a um, any kind of board breaker they have going second. Now it's still a sleeper, and I would I was gonna have a rescue mission set for recovery next turn. So there we go. I mean that that turned out something. Thought that was pretty well played. Okay, the new Ashizu card you pair with Spiral, uh, not without tier elements. I don't think no. I mean I can't think of a way they would work. Cause like you need a way to you have you have to have a way to mill them for them to do much, or send them from your hand to the graveyard. And Spiral doesn't really do that very well without other cards. Uh, this is Dragon Ravine Illusion of Chaos uh, Danger, so it kind of does what I want it to do. So activate Illusion of Chaos. Add Souls. Put back Illusion of Chaos. Activate souls here. Special summons and master plan. Now if they max see me, I ash. Okay, I drew, I drew the out, which is always great. And I have called by the grave in case they have another relevant hand trap here. And they concede. Okay, well, there we go. Kind of an early concede because my hand hadn't actually done anything yet, but you know, I guess they just knew. Any tips on how to plan ahead when you don't have the main line? Practice, man. It's a, it's. This is a deck that requires experience and intuition. A lot of both. I lack the, I lack intuition, honestly, but I have experience with it, so I can do some stuff with it. I am kind of tempted by the idea someone floated earlier of just running more uh, board breakers going second, just more Dark World of Mores and Forbidden Droplets. Instead of like Small World, but man, Small World's so good sometimes. So Gamma's good going second, obviously, but this hand still doesn't do anything otherwise, which is very sad. Ooh, set one pass. Ooh, that's good for me, depending. So any kind of Souls effect is what I want most here. Call by the Grave can do it. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I can Gamma that, and that will set me up by itself. Nice maxi deck, loser. Ash Blossom, Ash Blossom, do it, do it, do it. I drew the call by the grave. Please, Ash Blossom, the Gamma. Skill Drain. Okay, well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. That's obscenely annoying. They are at 7,000, though. <laughs> I can normal some of my master plan. So I'm going to... I just need to get into my quick fix. Uh, I have the rescue mission to kind of do some stuff, but I, just, I need to get into quick fix now. Yeah, game of searches from deck so you can actually blossom it. I've done it before. So super agent doesn't do anything because I don't have like a way to... Um... I need to get into Quick Fix and go into Link Crib and set Spiral Mission Rescue. And then next turn I can like do Link Crib plays with Quick Fix. As long as I have the Spiral Resort on the field, they're kind of screwed. But this is banished when they leave the field. During the end phase, banish. Okay, I, I don't. Uh, that doesn't matter. Um, so I am going to add Quick Fix here because that's like, I need to kind of get this online. But a normal summon quick fix go to battle. Obviously this doesn't do anything under skill drain. Can I like do more damage here? I need Link Rebo in play, right? So I need to just do that. I need to attack first. <laughs> I could brave her, but that doesn't do anything. Um yeah, I can't get to access Code Talker as farmer's way here. Oh, I could! No, no, I can't, no, I can't. So we're just gonna go to battle. 
Do some damage. All right, so now we're gonna go to main phase two. I need to get this. I need to get Link Rebo and Quick Fix into rotation. So we'll go to Link Rebo here. And I want monsters in the graveyard for uh, my Spyro Resort, so I don't have to lose my Spyro Resort. So I'm going to link off these Psy Frames here. Uh, I guess I'll make Borg Blocker, because it does the least now. I could... Ooh, I could have... I could have gotten into Access Code Talker. But I'm just going to make Borg Blocker discard my Master Plan here. Like he's negated, but I can still get the discard. That's fine. All right. Now I set rescue mission. I don't want to access code there because it wasn't lethal and it would have set me behind too much. I'm going to set three. I'm going to set two. I kind of want to equip this smoke grenade of the thief to my Borg blocker just in case I have a Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. So now we'll Aspire Resort. Yes, and we will shuffle back. I guess the driver? It's better than... It makes the second Gamma alive, I guess. Because the other Gamma can't do anything with Driver Banished. Oh, I linked them off, so it didn't matter. I should have put Gamma back. Oh, well, if I draw a Driver, I deserve it. But I would have been drawing a Gamma instead, which wouldn't do anything here. Oh, it's freaking Math Mech? Why are you running Skill Drain? What the hell? This dude's insane. Sure. I will, I will activate Link Rebo, yes. All right, in phase, now I can activate this rescue mission, add that quick fix. That's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna activate Spire Resort here. I need to get Sleeper into rotation when they're on Skill Drain. So I wanna make sure I get Sleeper in rotation no matter what here. Droll, huh? Interesting. I guess I call by the grave that. Oh, a cross out. Interesting. All right, well. I can't draw cards anymore. But can I just lethal them? I need to get three spiral cards in the graveyard for Sleeper. If I do that, I win. And I can do that very easily. I just normal summon quick fix. Activate Link Karibo. Let's use souls. Send Master Plan. Uh, then I've got three in the graveyard, but I can just... Um, is there a way I can save my Master Plans here? Not really, right? Uh, I could Selene. Doesn't do anything. I could... I could Access Code Talker. Banish Skill Drain, but where does that get me? Yeah, let's just summon Sleeper. All right, is this is is this lethal? Uh, if I go like a Nightmare Phoenix with these two, attack 1900 plus 1000. Yeah, that's game. Okay, so we'll just go Nightmare Phoenix just for attack power here. No, do not use the effect. Special summon sleeper. 1 2 3. Attack for lethal. Man, who runs Skill Drain and freaking Math Mech? What a doofus and a half.
This person is a horrible human being. Main deck Steel Drain in a freaking math mech deck. Cyber Sposo deck can't activate their own effects. No wonder he bricked. He had Skill Drain instead of a starter. I guess some people are just really down bad to beat Sprite in the cheesiest ways possible. Ala Floodgates too. It helps me win games sometimes. That guy floodgated himself out of the game. Alright, this hand does it very well too with double droplets. I can even play around like Smashers a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Can I play around the... S it depends on if he has double Mirror Jade, like he already drew the Branded in red. Okay, well, he drew the Branded in red. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so I need to... I can like summon Master Plan and then when we activate Mirror Jade, I can send it with uh, Droplets to negate. They'll get to Branded and Red me, but I'll still get to do my plays. There's Ad Lib. Yep. So now they can just make the old Mirror Jade. And I know they have Brandon ready because that's what they searched. So depends on what else they have, right? If they have like a Fright first setup, they can get into Masquerade, but I'd be fine with that because I drew the droplets. So there's one set. Oh. By their player. Oh, they're playing this dumb crap. Okay. You cannot Pendulum Summon, blah, blah, blah. All monsters they control can activate their effects if I have no set cards. So I have to have a set card to activate monster effects. Well, I guess I'll have a set Rod of Silence KS. Right. This is for monsters I control, which is fine. Mother freaking heck, dude. Why is it always maxing? I'm just so sick of this card. All right. Well, I, I'm going to go for the OTK, I guess. So whatever. Oh, this guy's going to, like, Guardian Chimera me here and get rid of my set cards so I can't play under this idiot. Interesting. It depends on what their set card is, right? I'm trying to... I can play around the Mirror Jade activation with Forbidden Droplets. And I can send a spell card to do it. Like I said, this is Big Red, right? Now they have a Call by the Grave... This guy has to have an extra set card, otherwise he can't use his own monster effects, right? I just now have to Droplets. I have to send a spell card here to play around uh, Branded in Red. The question is, is, do I send my Master Plan immediately? I think I just send the big red, right? Because, like, I don't care about the Aluber. Well, there's no monster effect that does anything here that I can think of. And why would I send another card to the graveyard, right? Do I really... If I send my Master Plane here, it's susceptible to an Ash Blossom, which she could have drawn. Because I really want to Chain Block Master Plane, so I guess I just do it this way. Now they branded in red. But I have the rescue mission. 
It depends on if they drew an Ash Blossom off this maxi, right? I need to keep this preparation rights in hand to set so I can still do stuff under this dumb card. I can't believe the guy, he hard drew everything so he could send this card, right? You can't send this card unless he hard drew the Branded Fusion with the Aluber to get Branded to Red, because he needed to, otherwise you have to send uh, a Tragedy, right? So you can get to ad libitum. Oh, this guy's a doofus and a half playing this combo. I'm just dead to the second Mirror Jade, obviously. Oh, sick. So I'm guessing he uh, has Ash Blossom. That's fun. I'm going to get Super Agent, I'm going to Blind Call and pop this back row, and then they can't activate their second Mirror Jade. I find that very funny. So I just want Sleeper at this point. I need a set card so I can activate my guys on field. Alright, so it's this deck. They've searched a bunch of spells. I'm still going to call Monster. If I hit Spell, I'm sad. Testing here a draw hand. So they're on DPE too. Funny. Now I pop this back row. And this card doesn't... This guy cannot use his effect. So his Mirror Jade's going to be offline now. I don't want to set Resort because, like, I guess Imperv doesn't matter anymore either, but yeah. You have to be your Jade now, man. Yeah, you're about to lose your... Yeah. annoying. He had the call by the grave too. So if I rescue mission my master plan, does that stop me? Yeah, because he mirror jade banishes my master plan here. Mother freaking heck, dude. Oh, that does beat me, doesn't it? Can I, if I blind call Helix, can I still win? I guess, right? You just get quick fix again. Because if I rescue Master Plan here, he just Mirror Jade banishes Master Plan. But if I don't rescue Master Plan, he banishes my... Yeah, yeah, shut up, game, I know. So, let's, okay. If I rescue, he, ma he banishes Master Plan. I have Agent Quick Fix, but I can't call their top card anymore. If I don't rescue, Master Plan's banished, Agent's banished, so... This, ra this rescue mission does not do anything anymore, so I have to rescue mission, yeah. Oh, that is so annoying! This guy had the call by the grave too, on top of everything! God, I'm so tired of Maxi, dude. If he didn't have Maxi, I would know his top card right now, and I could win. <sighs> okay. Well, nothing to it but to try again. Uh, do I have enough spiral names to make sleepers still? So I go unicorn, discard master. No. We'll have to. Okay, so I have to go. Oh, he banished super agent. What the heck? Why? I win now. Sick. I love winning. Uh, yeah, I gotta make, I gotta make helix. I need another top card. And 
that I can just win. I don't see an Nibiru, so monster spell spell, call monster. Now just uh, I just lethal them. So I have to worry about like a Luber, right? A Luber does something here. Oh, they don't have a Luber. So yeah, Luber doesn't do anything. There's no opening. Yeah, so I just win. Sick. I like just winning. Yes, Steph, I'm going for the OTK, but I have to get enough spiral names in Graveyard to banish with Sleeper. It's not Dabiru. Man, they don't, these guys don't even run Dabiru. I wanted to drone to see if they were drawing Dabiru. I gave him one card, but I got to know their top three. I guess you could just go straight into the unicorn stuff, but yeah. Good old Maxi going second and called by. He had everything. I've lost a lot of coin flips today. I actually won. I know. Crazy, isn't it? I've ranked up twice today. <laughs> Things ain't going so bad overall. Just a lot of Maxi and a lot of coin flip losses, and I'm still kind of doing okay. Pacifus Cador, yeah, a lot of people aren't running. Ooh, hello. Uh, this card is normal. You can add one assault mode, activate, or card that lists it from your deck to your hand. I guess you ask the normal summon against this deck? Like, I can't think where else you would do it, but I don't know. Oh, Jesus, left arm offering. Oh, no, he, he didn't look at my deck. No, he didn't look at my deck. He doesn't know. He's going to... Oh, he's going to add reasoning, right? No, okay, he didn't look at my deck. I'm sorry, dude. I have 55 cards, too. Oh, no. He left arm... Oh, I guess he wanted to banish for Dragonhawk? That does something. Maybe he did look at it, but you, you could have added any other spell card besides Grass. So, yeah, he definitely did not look. Now you can go into Thunder Dragon Colossus and pass. So I can't add cards. Hmm. I might just lose still because I don't really have an out to that. I can draw cards though. So I want to activate Chackalope. I'm going to activate Mothman first, because I just want to summon as many monsters as possible. Then Unicorn bounce this dude. Oh, discarding Destrudo is as good as it gets. So I can draw cards thanks to Dangers and the Thunder Dragon Colossus. Um, that's fine. That doesn't matter. I can 
normal summon Master Lamp. That doesn't do anything. So we're going to go into... If I had a, one more extender, uh, I'm going to... Unicorn... I can't do anything else, right? There's no other plays here. I have to get rid of this Colossus? Yeah, all right. I can make Power Tool and attack Drover. Not with Destruda, right? If I go here, I'd have a 4, 3, and a 3. doesn't make Power Tool. If I go here, I'd have a 3. Yeah, there's no way I can make Power Tool. All right, there's like no combination of cards that get me to with these two on the field. Because if I go if I go off the three, he becomes a four. A four and a four make eight. I need a nine. If I go off the four, he's a three and a three. Yeah, there's no there's no combination to get the power tool here. I'm, I'm not running Barone anymore. No, there's no Barone in the extra deck. So we're just gonna go unicorn. Discard this illusion. We're gonna discard this match plan so I can draw a card. Put you back. Curious does not do anything there. All right, we get to draw a card. See where we go from here. And a jackalope. Does that do it? Does that do it? Does that do it? Uh, yeah, it gets me to Celine. Yeah, that does it. A any summon there gets me. By the way. So I just Jackalope, Summon, make Selene. I'd have... I, oh, did they, did they play a spell? Right, they have Left Arm Offering? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. This is game, boys. So Selene... I could go into Unicorn here, too. Or into Curious, too. But Selene is better. Yeah, so any any summonable monster gets me there off of that draw, which is why I was kind of onto that play line. As with like a rescue mission, because I could just go into Borg Blocker and discard the rescue mission. Uh, yeah, I could just go Axis Code Talker real quick. That'll chain block my master plan in the best possible way. Now I'll just add quick fix and sleeper, and I normal summon quick fix. I just gotta do a little bit of spiral stuff to get spiral names in the graveyard for sleeper without messing up anything else. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's game. Hello, Gate. Bonjour. And that's why we like Dangers. As you can see, pretty good into Thunder Dragon Colossus, because they draw cards. Man, I'm having the worst coin flow today. Normally when I stream or record, my coin flow isn't too bad, but... That's that's completely superstition though. There's no logic behind that idea. All right, so this is droplets sending missions. So I just need like a spiral name, like quick fix or master plan will do it. Oh, it's the mathy mix. I'd love to draw souls here. That'd be ideal. I've got call by the grave, so they're pretty. Screwed if I draw any kind of starter. Where is Runic Sprite? I don't know. It's This isn't Platinum. This is like, this is my first, these are basically my first games of the season so far. I'm gonna run an ab while waiting for them to do their same combo. No, I think everyone's got ab lock on, so I'm not sure the ads even work. <laughs> There's Circular, Circular Sin Sigma, blah, blah, blah. Music stopped. No, play. Like. 
Wow, they added Super Factorial. I wonder if they're going to go into Alan Bershon now. Or like Masquerina, or like Wicked, or all that nonsense. Sorry, I meant Laplacian. You obviously go into Laplacian with Factorial. Alright, there's the album version. That'll add. Add a Mathnet card from deck to hand. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, diameter. You see, those normal summons, so that makes sense. You want me to play the world? Yeah, I can play the world, it's fine. The, the FTKs don't work if you lose the coin flip. <laughs> And Mythic is pretty boring. It's uh, it's the same exact play every game, pretty much. I know some people mix it up by like splashing Mythic into other decks, but I don't know. Like I would get bored with this deck in two days. I'm pretty sure. It's so samey. It's going second is so bad. It's like ah, I make Update Jammer and Access Go Talker. I'm a, I, that's how I go second. It's like really, dude. Is that it? I play 15 hand traps. Oh, you play hand traps. Yeah, this deck pretty much falls off right as soon as Sprite hit because Sprite doesn't care about hand traps and this deck relies on hand traps to do anything going second. So it just cannot win going second into Sprite meta. What you got going on there, bud? Heat Soul, wow! They made a Heat Soul, they're going to draw hand traps. I'm going to lose to hand traps. I love losing to hand traps. I really hope I draw an illusion uh, or magician souls here, just to punish this BS. Uh, is this guy gonna make a Laplacian on top of everything? Double Laplacian me. Oh, he, hard, he just hard drew that then, right? He hard the equation. Okay, just mask grinder. Sure, sure. Set super facts, set call by the grave, because they always have it. What do I think about the Ashizu cards coming out? We'll play them when tier limits come out. Until then, don't do much for us. Or Spiral, at least. They're very strong. Obviously, like, some decks will be a lot better with them, like Adam Spader. I'm sure Madolce will play them. That's okay. Alright, so despite the fact that I don't want to discard my droplets, I do need to just start doing stuff so I can activate dangers. This guy Max sees me too, I'm gonna be so upset. Yeah, okay, yeah, Heat Soul, draw, sure, sure. That is the usual. I don't want to drop what's here. I need I need to have at least one of these cards by the time I'm done using my dangers to stop their other plays. Okay, discarding rescue is obviously great. Quick Fix does do it. Okay, let's go. There's the Super Facts, and now I can call by the grave, which is excellent. Honestly, do I just let this resolve and then droplets for two? That's gotta be correct, right? But what am I sending off those two, right? I'd have to be sending the call by the grave. I'm still gonna have to, I have to droplets no matter what, right? Because I need to get rid of this mascarena. 
So like I let them I let them resolve that, then I droplet send assault and this jackalope, I normal summon quick fix, add big red, link off quick fix, big red, quick fix. If they have a call by the grave, I can rescue it. Then I've got Nessie, and I discard assault with quick fix, assault in drone, drone combo. So I just need to droplet send assault and or discard Oh, that doesn't work, because I'd have to discard the Assault for the droplets, right? Uh, I think... How much do I want to play around that being exactly called by the Grave? I don't want to do it a lot. Um, if it's Cross Out, I'm in trouble? Uh, we'll, we'll just let this resolve. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I have to call by the grave here. And then I don't have good droplet sins. I have to assume this doesn't do anything. Oh, that's so annoying. Now I have to droplet send jackalope and assault mission, assault mission and quick fix, normal summon quick fix, add drone. Yeah, that's how I have to do this. Okay. Whew. It's always maxi, man. It's always maxi. I just can't. Sorry, I shouldn't tilt so hard about this, obviously, but... Now the activate Laplacian. I have, to just, I have to send a monster with droplets, so I send Assault Mission and the Jackalope on field, because he's not doing anything and I might need discards. So I send Jackalope and Assault Mission. And we stop there, hit these two, because Heat Soul doesn't do anything anymore. I'm pretty sure that's called by the grave. Because I sent a spell and they had no response, so I don't think it's a trap like Imperm. So I have to Assault Mission and Quick Fix. This is 100% called by the grave. Okay, well, if it is called by the grave, I I think I still win. I just Nessie... I don't have a... If I have one more card in hand, if I didn't have to use my called by the grave, if I have one more card in hand, I could go for Nightmare Phoenix, but I don't have a card in hand. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go into Link Kribo. I'm going to rescue mission back my quick fix, and they're going to call by the grave me. Oh my god, he just had it all, dude. It's just, it's just called by the grave, man. It's just called by the grave. Um. Yeah, I just lose. Dang, man, this was so close. I had to lose to Maxi. Double hand trap on top of all this nonsense. It's not called by the grave. Wow. Okay, so I win. Sick. I love winning. Is it like an imperm? Okay, it's just imperm. If it's just imperm, I can go. I can't do curious anymore. What do you mean bait? You can't bait anything with his hand. There's no bait left to do. Alright, so can I do... I can't get to... Yeah, they had triple hand trap on top of their combo, so I, I lose to that. 
Uh, if I had, if you know, uh, if I had Anima, I could go to Anima here, and that would get me into Curious, which sends a rescue mission, which combos. But I do not have that. I can Borg Blocker does nothing. Uh, oh, I can Aurora Don. Okay, we'll just do that. Kind of funny. If his last card's Ash Blossom, I'm gonna have a conniption. All right, well, let's do a Rordon, please. I still think I think I'm gonna lose even with the roar on, right? It's not veil. It's just IP Masquerina can trigger right now, uh, even though it's negated. I don't have a card in hand to discard for Jet Synchron, which sucks. Uh, I don't actually have it, guys. You're about to see this is going to be one card short. So I go summon O-Lion, O-Lion, summon Excel Synchron. Can I... This doesn't... So I, I, if I leave the Aurora on, pop two, summon O-Lion, make the guy, make the token... I guess I leave the Aurora on the field to attack with. Because I can't use the Jet Synchron. Pop 1 doesn't do it here. So you send Jet Synchron here, but I don't have a card to discard, so I can't get to Herald. Increase. I'll go into Braver. We we'll use Braver Effect, obviously. Uh, this guy becomes a 28. Uh, I can't actually cure this guy. That's annoying. I can negate him next turn. Uh, yeah, I want to discard that. So now I just attack his two non-big monsters. That's my problem here, is they can, if they summon any starter, this guy don't do anything anymore. They can just attack over it with the Heat Soul. So here's the question, do I negate the Heat Soul? Maybe they drew a hand trap, I think I have to. I don't like the negating upstart goblin, but like if they summon any monster, they can just attack over my guy.
I hope that you were an imperm or a call by the group or something. Okay, yeah, they got me. That's game. Uh, it did not matter because this effect would beat me no matter what. Yep, here it comes. Axis go talker. Wow. Wait. Is that all he had? Oh, okay, sure. So, you know, banish mask. So, I mean, uh, a quick fix wins the game. Um, a rescue mission wins the game because I can discard it with Jet Synchron. Um. A super agent or a resort wins the game. No, super agent doesn't because I don't have a discard. Um, I don't have a whole lot of outs here, no matter how I stretch it. Do you have any link monsters left? Does Big Red? Big Red does it! Wow, that's game. Sick. Alright, Big Red quick fix. Add drone, drone, helix, helix combo. I win. Alright. Uh, you weren't far off gate. I did not top deck quick fix, but I top decked a card basically as good. Woo, what a game. He had everything, too. He had everything. We make a new vid for the Aurora tech. I mean, I would, but Saint already did it. Maybe I can make a video with like just about gameplay like this. Call monster. I played that as good as I could have. This was a game won purely on making the right calls. <laughs> Woo. Alright, rest commission, discard, and I can just attack with the unicorn, right? They don't have anything in the graveyard that does anything. Alright, 1800 life points. I activate the resort, they don't have anything. No responses from them? Okay, I just go to battle then. Sick. Woo! Alright, what a game. I'm gonna save that one. That was a pretty fun game. I mean it was it was stressful as all heck, but it was pretty fun. Yeah. They had everything too, man. They had triple hand trap. Factorial setup, Masquerina. Man. The Aurodon coming in clutch there, right? You know, that's kind of the thing that only Aurodon versions of the deck do. Because turning that nonsense material into real cards that do something. these dang coin flips, man. Can I win some, please? Oh, I promised him I was going to do the world. Okay, I'll do the world next, but yeah. Uh, this is annoying. I need. I think I need to go into Blind Call Super Agent here to pop their branded in red. That's very funny. Oh, uh, Marta, I'm not running Anima, so I couldn't quite do that. Ooh, branded lost. There's the Brando Fujo. No Aluber, though, so I don't have to worry about Aluber Graveyard Effect. That's nice. Um, yeah, there's the Tragedy. Some Mirror Jade, Mirror Jade Banished Kit. Set Branded in Red. Have fun. Yeah, so I'll try to do the world next, but like I lost this coin flip, so the world wouldn't have done anything here either. <laughs> yeah, I can do the world next.
Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. Cool. Tragedy add. add oh, Mercurior, not ad libitum. I guess they, they maybe they bricked on ad libitum. That's why their hands like this. But Mercurior doesn't do a whole lot to me. Oh no, there's the ad lib. I'm going crazy. Yeah, the branded lost ads. Yeah. All right, so this will make sense. So they have the Mercurior for negate. It's just a generic monster negate, right? It doesn't doesn't target. You can send this card from your hand to the field. Yeah, negate that. Sure, sure, sure. They have another set too. That's dangerous. So this is going to get them branded in red. Ooh, Smart World. That's interesting. Activate Spire Resort here. Activate Spire Resort. I'm going to add Super Agent here, which is a little odd, but I want to force this branded in red if I can. So I'll activate Call Monster still. is still the preferred call in Despia. Sick. Okay, so now I can force either their Mercurial or their Branded in Red, which is fine by me. Sick. Okay, there's the Mercurial. So now my Quick Fix will resolve. So unless this is an Ash Blossom, I can one for one for Quick Fix here. Normal Summon Quick Fix, add Big Red, um, do I want a Phoenix first to force his Branded in Red? I could go Poor Blocker, then he couldn't Guardian Chimera or anything, that'd be funny. Um. So the fear here is he big reds my master plan, right? That's the thing I worry about the most here. I need to summon a master plan. I'm going to go for double helix. I think that wins me the game. Oh, he had Call by the Grave set. Okay, that just loses me the game then. Poop! Yeah, you got it, buddy. There's the Branded in Red 2. Dang, man, Call by the Grave is such a dumb card. I play it too, obviously, but it's still such a dumb card. Alright, so... Are they going to Mirror Jade to banish my Helix? If I big red it? Yeah, I lose the call by the grave. Dang, man. Going first, going second sucks nuts. I was playing that so well, too, and then I just lose the call by the grave. So Garden Chimera, pop everything. I'm going to have to, like, uh, Small World for Souls and draw two. So I, I could actually still play through this and win, but it's the, the Mirror Jade's going to beat me now. I don't have the out for the Mirror Jade. All right, the Mirror Jade beats whatever I have Big Red here. Ecclesia, wow, this guy's like a terrible deck. Draw two. Oh, this does target, so I do get to blind fire double helix, which is interesting. I 
Oh, I got unlucky. Well, if I'd hit the if I'd hit it the double the blind call twice, I would have win, win uh, I would win there. Now I can um that would have gotten me to sleeper. Now I can't get sleeper, which is the problem. Um I can Uh it's just the call by the Gribble Master Plan beats me, right? Like I could set up Axis Code Talker here, but they can mirror jade it. Whatever I big red doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, I just lose call by the grave. Dang, that's so annoying, man, when you like plan out the strategy and it just doesn't matter because they have call by. Oh well. It wasn't maxi, so I won't. I lost the coin flip. Alright, so I did say we're going to go to world. We will do the world. And since I'm only caring about going first, I'm going to change the deck such that it's only for going first. So we will get rid of Appaloosing and throw in Protector Whelp. I think I will throw in one Mothman in this variant, just for oops, small world purposes, because you can do some funny stuff with that. Alright, so we'll do it this way. Maybe I want a coin flip. I want a coin flip, sick! Let's see if I get the combo now. <laughs> If they max me, I'll try to still do the combo, because if, if they don't have the right hand traps, I, I just win. Oh, uh, yeah, this does it. Uh, all right, I'll bait Nash with Small World here. All right, so we'll go Gamma. I can go Suchinoko. An illusion of chaos here. And we'll illusion chaos. Uh, the point of protector whelp is that sometimes you discard your slower swallow off of your dangers. When that happens, you need a secondary way to get to Romulus to do your combo. And uh, it is a generic Link 2 dragon that has no other required materials, meaning you can make it out of anything, including dangers. So you can make the world that way. Oh, there we go. That gets there. It's a very silly card, and it's very silly that it's UR, and it costs people UR to run it, but you don't have to run it. You can just run Appaloosa instead, and... And live whenever you can't use slow or swallow. So we'll get quick fix, right? Yep. None of this ordering, I think, matters in this version of the deck. But I want double helix in this zone, so we'll do it that way. Uh, Link Kribo. If they had Nash, they would have used Ash. I'm just going to go to Borg Blocker here. I'm not going to discard because it does not matter because they don't have Ash. If they had it, they would use it. We'll go ahead and add our sleeper here because we don't want to discard him. Add other Spire Resort. We'll play the Spire Resort, but I don't actually think I need to activate it. I just want spells in the graveyard. Activate. So my master plan. Activato. Get Assault, Selene, get Rescue, alright, and then we'll activate Selene. Summon Master Plan from the graveyard, not the hand. That'd be a waste of a card. Get our other rescue mission. Then we'll go into double helix. Hope 
that they let me do the whole combo. We'll discard assault mission. Summon a little quick fix. Get drone. And we'll activate assault mission. And we'll stack their deck, which is the fun part. And maybe this is like a deck with good going second board breakers. Yeah, I'm gonna put forbidden droplets on top. Just to make fun of them. Alright, quick fix effect. Go ahead and add our last resort, because why not? This is the funny thing, you actually don't you actually lose a material here because you need to use your Leerlisk early so you don't clog up your zones. It's one of the odder things about this combo, you don't link off your quick fix, so you waste one of his revivals, but you don't need it, so why does it matter, right? Uh, you don't don't care about her effect, you care about this effect. Always attach the royal one to flex. Add slower swallow. Discard rescue mission. Summon. Go get our last card to search here. There's Big Red. Let me use Swallow or Swallow. And that's Romulus, baby. And the nice thing about this combo is you get into Light Barrier before you go into Curious, so you never risk milling uh, your, the most important card in your deck. So I Dragon Ravine. I go Dragon Ravine. Uh, I guess at this point I want to... I got plenty of discards, so we'll just discard this extra Master Plant. She's not doing anything. So you want to make sure you don't do the first effect, do the second effect. Said Master Plan. Send Destrudo. Activate Destrudo. Ta-da! Summon him over here. Make Ancient Fairy Dragon. Then you pop your field spell and add Light Barrier. Uh, the second effect again. A lot of second effects in Spiral, but not with Magician Souls. So add Light Barrier here. Uh, then we'll Rescue Mission back Master Plan, because we need a Dark Monster still. This actually runs less Brex than the Aurodon deck. So it's not. It, this is not a bricky version of the deck at all. It just runs a more annoying extra deck. So we, summon, uh, we make a 3 mets Saryuja to clear up our board a little bit. Then we discard Rescue with Quick Fix. Summon Quick Fix. Activate, or summon Dull Hand. Detach with Dull Hand. This is a deck where Dull Hand is mandatory for this exact reason. Then I'll, uh, might as well rescue mission. <laughs> I got so much extra material here. And you summon Curious. Oop. Link Rio, who's in the graveyard. The worst thing about this combo is our Yuja like keeps activating and it's annoying. Alright, then you go Curious. How Curious? Curious will send Zawardo. So you scroll all the way to the right, and there's Zawardo. 
And it doesn't really matter what you mill, because nothing in your deck matters anymore. We'll just use Agent here, because why not? Call Spell, because we know it's a Forbidden Droplets on top. I think they're DCing. Let's try to get... Gotta get there! Gotta get there fast! Firewall Dragon! Firewall Dragon Effect! Bounds of the world to hand. Activate Light Barrier before you activate Saryuja. That's important. And they concede. So you summon Saryuja, activate the world, skip their turn. And that's the combo, everyone. That's a, as efficient as it gets, really. Add an extra rescue mission and, ooh, and everything. And uh, for the people who want to see it, you know, it's obviously... Uh, this is... The idea for using the world is not mine. It was from the Epic, but this build of the deck is mine. And, you know, putting together the fact that Ancient Fairy Dragon makes it good is mine. This deck only runs three quote-unquote bricks to enable it. It runs uh, Light Barrier, it runs the world, and it runs Slower Swallow. Ostensibly, because you have to use your Ancient Fairy Dragon to uh, search out your uh, Light Barrier, or the deck doesn't work very well, I guess you could maybe view the Dragon Ravines and the Distrito and the Remus as kind of bricks, but... Generally speaking, you can just save your... If you, if you draw these cards, you can, like, save your Romulus stuff. It's It doesn't really matter that much, because by the time you get to that point in the combat, they use all their hand traps, so it's not too relevant. But this deck does not have a great backup plan, so, you know, it doesn't use Dragon Ravine as a starter. Yeah. You could, like like I said, you could cut the Dragon Whelp and throw in an Appaloosa, and then your backup plan, whenever you mess up and you can't get to where you want to go, is either go for a 50-50 the world shot... Or, um, or summon Appaloosa, Sleeper, Firewall Dragon. That's like the other option. Alright, so yeah, there you go. There's the world. But I'll go back to Aurordon because I think it's better. <laughs> I, I won a game entirely earlier, as people saw, because Aurordon gets you powerful interactions despite having just something but quick fix and dangers and nothing else. And I'm going second, so there we go. <laughs> also, the world deck's probably better going second, because it still has most of the going second cards. And, um... Well, it's, there's nothing else I was going to say. Oh, and it's less bricks, obviously. Well, this hand's good. But I'm going second, so it doesn't matter. Fractal! Well, against Tri-Brigade, always Ash the first Tri-Brigade. Always Ash Fractal, because that stops them from getting extra material in the graveyard. And called by the grave. I know you got. Oh, okay. Well, he's got something. Probably Maxi. Because he could activate something there. Oh, he has the Karis, though. All right. Do you have? Oh, it's just Sprite Brigade. Okay. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm dead no matter what. Nothing actually mattered, everyone. <laughs> I mean, that Ash Blossom was still correct, no matter what. Ash Blossom's just so bad against Sprite that it doesn't matter. It wasn't even Maxi, it was just Sprite uh, Starter. They had, they had a hard-drawn starter, so... I mean, I guess maybe I should think about that in the future. If you see a freaking Tri-Brigade card, hold your Ash because Starter's better to hit, or Gigantic Sprite's better to hit. I don't know. This just keeps him off most of the Tri Brigade stuff, so that's something. So I do have Smashers. Oh, they had the heart. They had the carrot too. All right, cool, cool. Is that what they added off blue? Okay, no, they they added carrot, so they they already had Jet and Starter in hand. That's a pretty good hand. Fractal Starter, Carrot, Blue, uh, Jet. Yeah, that's a really good hand. Dang. Oh, they had a Keras. So that th one of those was searched, but yeah. They searched the Keras, so it was Keras plus that. That was a good hand. They won the coin flip, they had a good hand. Why am I? Yeah, that's life. 
I play Thrash all the time too, so whatever. Kiros, and now they can set up like. Well, they're under Gigantic Sprite, right? So they can't really set up that much. I don't know what this does. They can set up Fairjeet and draw a card. Oh, they can get freaking Rugal. And they can still get their uh, Revolt. But that seems. You know, this seems so underwhelming. Okay, there's Farajit. Then they'll link off for Rugal, and then they'll link off for like a two. What two do they have? They can't link it off for Mascarena. Is there like another two that's worth linking off into? And Farajit can special summon a try from hand if that's what they got, but I think they're out? Or that Karras is what they added? What'd they add off Nerval? They added Kit, right? So they can special summon the Kit off Farajit? Like, what's the end goal here? <laughs> they have red in rotation? They do have red, right? Is, is he under this guy? No, they don't have red in rotation yet. Huh. Best part about Sprite Gate is how efficiently it placed their hand traps. I mean, Sprite notoriously placed their hand traps very well. I don't know what Tri Brigade adds to that. Oh yeah, I guess they can make Ancient Warrior, but they have to use the... You can't summon Ancient Warrior without using a tri Brigade effect. That doesn't link off Rugal. They need to link off Rugal is what they have to do. I know they use d d uh, Double Dragon Lords, but you can't link off into Double Dragon Lords without Ancient Warrior's cards. You have to use the tri Brigade effect. But I'm trying to think off what they're linking their Rugal off for. I'm not wrong, right? Dragon, double Dragon Lords has to have Ancient Warrior's cards... And the only reason Tri Brigade plays them is because they can cheat them out with uh, the Tri Brigade effects, right? Okay, there's Mascarena. I mean, my hands suck, so I'm probably going to lose to just that. But Yeah, okay, they just ended on Jack Nothing. Wow. Droplets one time dealer. <gasps> Dragon Ravine, Sin Nessie, Nessie Add. Yeah, that does it. Right? No, this doesn't do it, because I have to lose my battle phase. That's fine. It's just, that's just, that, that is just one card I would send for droplets. Sure, none of this matters. Um, okay, so now I can just droplets send this... Dragon Ravine? And whenever they summon off Mascarena, I hit with the droplets or I hit the Mascarena, right? Because nothing else does anything here, and I get to save that card. And then I can... I could clear their board, basically, and set up my entire play. But I can't kill them that way. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Okay, so we'll just activate droplets now. And we'll send this Spent Dragon Ravine. Okay, so they're going to resolve Mascarena, and I'm going to drop it whatever they Mascarena. It's good for me. Wait. They, are they... Can they make... They can't... Oh, they can make Underworld Goddess here, and that actually stops me, doesn't it? Okay, Appaloose is fine. Yeah, I've got Droplet resolving, so this is nothing. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen. Blue can add whatever he wants. None of the sprite cards do anything. Now, this is the problem. If that draws a hand trap, the fairy jeet, that's actually annoying, but I couldn't stop that, so. So, they got Maxi, they got Maxi, and I just try to kill him. So, I know I'm summoning Quick Fix here. That's not how that works.
Okay, so what's actually the best add here? I can get drone discarded off Dragon Ravine, big red drone, that's game. Yeah. I'm I'm crazy. That's not how this works. I needed to get Okay, I didn't have the big red in hand. Okay, well they conceded. Blah. It still works, it still works. I was still gonna do the Ancient Fairy Dragon play, clear their board, and they would have nothing left to beat me, but you know. I was gonna have to Ancient Fairy Dragon break their board and then make my own board. <laughs> What I added there actually did not matter, because I was just doing Ancient Fairy Dragon stuff. I should have gotten Big Red, though. Don't make my mistake. Fuda Lover. That's an interesting name. I'll throw an ad in here before... It didn't even set Smashers. Yeah, that's an interesting play. Alright, so this kind of does it. I think they have maxi though, so we're gonna open up with Spire Resort to bait hand traps, and then they're gonna maxi me. Yeah, this sucks. All right, well we're gonna add Super Agent here. So I'm going to normal summon Fix Fix. I'm going to get Big Red. Just Max see me, man. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, boy. I hate, I hate Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes, man. I just, how much more fun would this game be if this card didn't exist, right? How much more fun would this game be if this card just was not here? Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna pass. Have fun. Not even gonna bother. This hand was awesome. This hand gets there a million different ways. But, oh, it's a uh, Sky Striker. I might be able to win still. Cool. I really wish I still had Spyro Resort, though. Oh, uh, this is this lethal if they have linkage? It might be, actually. Right? This is 15, and then they can go 25, add back 25. So they have 5,6500 damage. They're 500 short. Oh, it's exactly 8,000 when you have no monsters on the field, but I had a monster. Okay, so no linkage OTK p potential here. That was good. But now they get to go Kagari, add Engage, and all that stuff. This is this is almost like just going second versus Sky Striker, honestly. <laughs> Spyro would be tier one without C. I mean, maybe. I think Sprite's still the better deck without C. All combo decks would be very better, better with that. I guess, but like so would mid range and so would rogue strategies that aren't combo decks. Like normal summon Alistair is better without Maxi, and that's not a combo deck. Oh, Shark Cannon's interesting. Oh, I've got this quick fix in graveyard. That makes sense. Another Spyro Resort would be Aces here. I'm guessing that means they already had the Widow Anchor. So it's probably Widow Anchor Shark Cannon set, which is fine. Uh, they're just going to Shark Cannon anyhow, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. They have enough spells in Graveyard that if it's a... Oh, no. They only have two. Ooh, interesting. That's quite interesting. Call Spell. Please don't Maxi me again. Oh, I play Sky Striker. Ooh, sorry. I play against Sky Striker, and that's how they get me, huh? I'm going to hold this Magician Souls because I know they have a Shark Cannon set. Ah! 
Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I, I shouldn't. I discard the souls. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm tilting. I've tilted. I'm completely tilted out. I'm just, I'm just tilted beyond belief. Unbelievable. Absolutely dog water game. You're watching me tilt live. Double maxi. I saw them draw the ghost ogre, so my freaking big red's not going to work because I said it. Ah. <sighs> Oh my goodness. I can't believe I missed on Super Agent against Sky Striker because they have Ghost Ogre. And I don't know their top card anymore, so I can't do anything. I don't know. I could have I could have still dangered into Master Plan, into Rescue Mission and stuff. I've just... Oh wow. Uh, this hand is fine, actually. Because it's got... Um, Dragon Ravine. Okay, Dragon Ravine... Dragon Ravine discard Nessie. Uh, send Destrudo. Nessie will add. We'll get Jackalope, because Jackalope always summons Jackalope. We'll activate. Discarding Ash Blossom. Okay, well, they had, if they had Maxi by now. I would have seen the prompt, so I'm not that worried about that. That's good. So now we can Distrudo. Go into Ancient Fairy Dragon. And we still get we get everything but the Secret Village here, which is fine. So that's Fire Resort. Activate Spire Resort. Jackalope looks different. <laughs> Activate your Fairy Dragon. Special Summon Quick Fix. Quick Fix Effect, add Drone. Normal Summon Drone. I think I like about this kind of part of the combo, or this this line, is that your double helix goes into the right zone. Unlike with other decks, you can 100% draw Super Factorial going second, my friend. Activate effect, called Trap. Draw some Master Plan. Activate Master Plan. Get, uh, I've got, I've already got a rescue in hand, right? So I just do this. There's some Borgy Blocker. Uh, because I'm not going into, I'm not going into the Ancient Fairy Dragon stuff, I don't even need to, um, search, uh, I don't have to go into Curious, so I just go Dawn plus Big Apo here, which is always fun. So you get Sleeper and the second Quick Fix here. Salt Mission and Quick Fix. This will get me my last resort. We got big red still, so I guess I'll get. It doesn't really matter. The order of all of this is fairly trivial. So want a big red master plan. Activate master plan. Get another rescue. Discard rescue. Add last resort. I guess I want to get my extra big red just for a follow-up next turn, so. Go this. I can go Link Kribo. If I go Link Kribo, discard, summon. Uh, do I have all the missions out of the deck? 
I've got one in graveyard, one in hand, one in... Yeah, I need one more so I can go Selene here. Oh, I don't want to do that yet because I, I don't have Super Agent in rotation. That, that would have been bad. So we'll go... We'll do this first. Let's get my last big red. Oops! I misclicked. Oh, uh, well. Uh. Misclicks happen. No big deal. Like I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing the specific line, so the misclick does not actually matter. So I just need to make a big Appaloosa and then an Ordon, and I'm good. Yeah, so we're there. We're basically where we want to be. I guess I could Curious send Super? That's just nothing. Yeah, we'll just make a big Appaloosa here. Go to Big D. Like, the idea is, like, I could Curious send Super Agent and have the rescue mission plus Super Agent set up, but it's freaking Math Mech. Like, where they, it's not like it's a trap deck or Elder Blitz or something where that would matter. Always use the second effect. It's come up a lot tonight. Some No Lion. Like your friendly neighborhood. XL Synchron. Oh, line effect, obviously. XL Synchron effects and Jet. Increase. Jet send. We'll, we'll just send the smoke grenade so we can set this rescue mission. Going to Arcolito. Then we'll set up Power Tool Braver. And Braver will equip KS and Smoke Grenade. I don't think the order matters, but I always use KS first just because it, it seems right that KS effect is on the field. And then we'll pop the smoke grenade. Look at their hand. Nice lava golem loser. So I just pop whatever goods they make before they go into parallel exceed. Yeah. Uh, do do. Uh, do I care about quick fix anymore? Nope. We'll set a rescue mission and a droplets. In turn, 90 seconds on the clock too. So, okay, yeah, there's the concession. <laughs> A lot of their cards don't even do anything under, uh, like, Circular. You can't even use Circular under Herald of Arclight. So that, that hand was very bad. <laughs> Main deck Lava Golem Math Mech. That's got to be stupid as garbage, right? Especially under Runic Sprite. That's just got to be terrible. One day I will cope on a Rordon 3rd effect. I don't think I've ever used Rordon 3rd effect. Why would we? We could just make Griffin, right? Uh-oh. Lost this coin flip. Let's see if I can win. Go in second. Oh, no. What a hand. Uh, this is this is the hand of all time, isn't it? These two are always, like, glued to your opening hand on some days. Like, some days you'll just play ten matches in a row and you always draw a sleeper and or last resort. What you got, opponent? What you got going on in there? I mean, a Droplets wins this. Whoa! That's a bad start, huh? Let's, like, Guru. If they set five, or set, if they set five cards, it's just Guru, right? They need the field spell for the Guru to matter. Okay, there we go. Well, I mean, we'll see where this goes. Oh, uh, does that do it? 
Oh. Oh, well, that trivializes my decision making here. Well, too bad I lost this coin flip, huh? Set. 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 I'm also going to set this last resort because there's a chance that I can, like, rescue mission it back. Or some flip heavy storm duster. Okay. Yeah, I mean, anti spell fragrance is very sub terra guru. Terraforming is so bad into anti spell. Holy crap. I have to get Spire Resort and then set Spire Resort again. <laughs> also, there's a planet where if I can get like this rescue in this last resort in Graveyard, I can like normal summon a quick fix. Oh, it's just Cyber Dragon. Okay, well, I mean, why is Cyber Dragon going first and running anti spell? That's just nonsensical. I mean, maybe they have the OTK here. I mean, it probably wins the game. I'm 100%... Oh, I can't call by the grave because I'm under anti-spell. Ha! I was thinking, like, oh yeah, I'll definitely call by the grave this card. It's a graveyard effect. Nope. Actual Cyber Dragon in hand? Okay, okay. Tribute summon Cyber Dragon. Interesting. You got it, buddy. Okay, this is a... This is a game of all time. You, you got it. He's got something that happens in damage step. What's the cyber... Is it honest? Are they playing honest? They chose to go first. This is this is their strategy. This was the plan. I should have rescued mission back last resort, but I don't think it's going to matter here. Oh my god. What a hand. Watch them flip call by the grave on this. Nope, sick. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm going to activate terraforming to go get Spire Resort, and next turn I'll do something. Double Master Plan hand, actually insane. This is the spiral hand of all time, by the way. I wonder what my set card is. Your turn. So, how does this work? If this card's name is always Cyber Dragon and I negate it, will that stop other Cyber Dragon cards? I think so. But no, once it's negated, it's no longer a Cyber Dragon name. So it would, it would just be negating its actual name, Cyber Dragon hers, and it wouldn't work. It's kind of like when people call by the group Super Agent and Helix still works, I think. Even though its name becomes Super Agent, that's an effect. Yeah. Okay, there's a set card. Excellent. Okay, do I want this last resort in Graveyard? Probably not, because I can send my Spiral Resort if I normal summon a Spiral, and I can... Like, play... I can get Spire Resort... I, can, I mean, not Spire Resort. I can get Rescue in the Graveyard off of Last Resort. Oh, Preparation Rights. That almost does it. I flip Spire Resort. I'm tempted to go Super Agent here, right? Because I can't play Big Red under... Ancient... Uh, Anti-spell fragrance. Yeah, I think it's actually the best play here. It's like Quick Fix doesn't actually do anything. I'm gonna call Monster because it's a Cyber Dragon deck. Sure thing, buddy. You got it. I guess I should have called track because guys all floodgates. Droplets, okay. 
I'm going to do something odd here. Don't hate me for it. I'm going to normal summon... I can normal summon Super Agent, Sin Rescue Mission, attack directly. But I want to keep my Spyro Resort active, right? So I actually want to put this freaking... I want to put this last resort in the graveyard? That can't be right, but it is. This is so stupid. They have Forbidden Droplets set, by the way, because uh, they had something in Damage Step and they run Droplets. I would kill for our danger right now. I mean, I, my plans were to call Monster or Trap based on their deck, and I, it was a spell card on top, so I was never getting there. So they're going to have droplets, so they can droplets my super agent, which is fine, I guess. I'll have all my spiral names out by then, so I don't care about this resort nearly as much. Nice big red. Do I just keep calling monster because I know they play Cyber Dragon? Do I call Trap because I know they play a bunch of Floodgates? This is such a weird deck, there's no way... I'm going to keep on Monster. I'll hit Monster eventually. If I miss, I normal summon Quick Fix and add Last Resort. Sure. Okay, you got it, buddy. fine. Sure. Send as many imperms as you want, buddy. I'm gonna prep here. Get souls online. I do need to get a monster in the graveyard, but I could just do it with my master plan because I have the master plan in hand to discard later. So shuffle back master plan. Honestly, do I just go Link Karibo? Because I know their next card's not doing a whole lot. I'm just going to go Link Karibo and shuffle back this quick fix. And next turn I can like drone agent. I'm all set up for next turn at this point, right? But the, the problem, so I know they have a Forbidden Droplet, so Drone Agent isn't the best here. But I can at least force them to get rid of cards. And that was, you could supposed to, oh, that doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, so I can't actually use this effect, that'd be silly.
and quick fix back. This rescue mission pops at this point, right? Now, this is the first time I've ever had rescue mission pop. This game's so weird. So he's gonna set a spell card and set droplets. I should have activated Soul so I could rescue mission on the end of turn for my master plan with this pop rescue mission. That would have been such a big brain play. Oh well. Oh, this should kind of get where I want to go at the end of this all. can draw another spell card. God. Okay, Evenly Mesh is so bad with their board right now, but by the time it ma so yeah, they, ha they have more cards on board than me, so Evenly Mesh is terrible. So I should go Trap, Spell, Spell. Super probably last for sure. That's Trap. Whoops, almost... <laughs> Messed that one up. Hilarious. Okay. So they'll get to add the freaking cyber emergency. Oh, I have called by the grave. Ha! And I guess this finally came up. So they're going to drop list this. So I'm going to summon him in defense mode. Oh, actually. This is going to be very funny. Now I'll pop their summon limit. So I know they got a droplet set, and I know they got a cyber emergency set. But I don't... So the only thing that matters here is droplet... Oh, they can't activate the droplet because they're under anti spell, so I just win. Thank God. Okay. Whew. Yeah, they're under anti-spells, so this is all game. Jesus. What a... This is the dumbest game of my life. That's a trap card still, because I maxi... I negated the maxi. Ooh, I'm... This game has fried my brain. It was so bad. Whoever you are, Jay Lozada, you are the worst person. <laughs> well, that's how you rank up, I guess. I guess. Oh, we'll fucking play an ad there, I guess. Jesus. All right, let's uh, let's keep going, I guess. I don't know. Win and you'll gain a rank. Cool. Hope I ruin your day. I oh, lost. Going second again. Hopefully, you know what? Let's hope it's the same freaking deck. Let's hope it's Cyber Dragon Floodgate Control with droplets and evenly matched. Like, why are you playing a Cyber Dragon deck with evenly matched? Why are you playing a Cyber Dragon deck with floodgates and forbidden droplets? All none of those cards go together. None of them. Not a single one. All right. If it's a sprite, I hope they don't have red in hand so I can gamma their. Oh, it's Inspector Border. It's actually just Floodgate Turbo Day. 
Runic Inspector Border. Are you kidding me? Please draw Forbidden Droplets. Card drew the Runic Fountain. Oh my god. Freaking Inspector Border. It's less than the number of monster card types currently on the field. So, I literally... I can't even do anything here. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't activate monster effects at all. It's not just in, in on field or whatever. And they banish some stuff that doesn't matter. Oh, I can't believe I'm running into Flunket Runic. Please just give me a Droplets. Please just give me a Droplets. Please just give me a Droplets. Yeah, sure, game is fine. Please just give me a Droplets. That is not Droplets. I am going to uh, have a conniption. I don't actually want to summon a mon monster because that gives them runic cards. I shouldn't even summon this freaking. I shouldn't have even used this dragon ravine. Because I can't use anything. Can I explain Inspector Border? Okay. Inspector Border basically says you cannot activate monster effects until you summon different types of monsters, which include R Ritual Fusion, Ritual Fusion, Synchro, Exodus, Pendulum, and Link. So. Because I don't, because there's no amount of any of those card types on the field, any of those monster types under, under, on the field, you cannot activate monster effects. If you get to a Link monster, you still can't activate monster effects because it has to be less than, right? Not the player can activate monster effects unless the number of monster effects that players. Okay, you can activate one effect per turn once you get a Link monster on the field. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. So once I get one Ling monster on the field, I can start activating, I can do one effect. If I get an Xyz monster on the field, I can activate two effects. Ah, that doesn't fucking do anything either. Yep. Um... I'm never going to resolve this Gamma, right? So I just want to thin my deck here. Call by the Grave Useless gets this deck, yeah. I'm literally just thinning my deck right now. Oh my god, really? Banished to Rescue Mission, and that's annoying, but I just need to draw droplets. I just need droplets. That's my out right now. I start adding spiral cards before I run out of spiral cards. I need, I need to get to Sleeper. 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 got one in, gra in deck already, in graveyard already, so if I can get the sleeper... Uh, can I small world for quick fix from Gamma? I can get another... S I can get souls in field. Put another master plan. So I can go from like, I can get quick fix with souls here.
It's gonna be so stupid. I can go Warp Blocker and they can't pop my Spire Resort. That'll get me plays for next turn. Yeah, we'll do that. This might be my monster effect because I have a Link monster now. Quick fix for next turn. This will give me a last resort. Under a board blocker. I think I keep Master Plan. Yeah, because I have Quick Fix in hand already. They didn't manage my other Vigor, did they? No, we're good. Okay. They can't target my sleeper right now, which turns off a lot of the runic cards that could stop me. Yeah, sorry opponent. That will not work. I am under Spiral Resort. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get to the point where I could activate my sleeper to stop them from drawing cards, but I can turn them off in just a second. <laughs> Please don't have the protection card. Please don't... They drew everything they needed! No! This is, now they have the card that protects. I hate this deck so much. I could have not committed, I guess, and waited a second. Oh man, I just had to fade that one draw, dude. I just had to fade that one draw. Or draw Forbidden Droplets at any point in this game. Oh my god, this is so miserable. Uh, I had the line, but it doesn't matter. They even played like crap. They freaking popped a barricade Bork blocker. But now they just need to draw any quick plays, which get them in Runic Fountain, and the Runic Fountain gets them to out to my resort. Oh, please tell me all you drew was frickin' Floodgates. Please tell me all you have right now is Floodgates. Please tell me all you have right now is Floodgates, and that's why you're setting them. Oh, that'll do it. Alright, so I add, I guess, Super Agent here. He's the only one that's doing anything. And I droplets and Quick Fix. 
Or start drop with send the super agent. Normal summon quick fix. Come on, opponent. I drew the out. Solemn judgment. Interesting. So I guess I have to go to battle now. They did force me to go to battle. I can normal something quick. Uh, last resort. That does not do anything. Attack. Oh my goodness, okay. Main phase two. Equip. Last resort. Nice rivalry. Does not matter. Still definitely does not matter. <laughs> I hope this is a Solemn Strike set. I'm hoping this is a Solemn Strike set. Evenly matched. Nice evenly matched loser. Nice game. L ratio, etc. That was a freaking... That person deserved to lose that rank up. What a monster. What an absolute horrible human being. Freaking runic stall. The, the one of Inspector Border. That's what caused me all that problem. The one of. Wow. This is, this is the problem with this whole, oh yeah, we're just going to limit, you know, destruction. We're going to limit freezing curses. We're going to li limit slubber. One, they have three tip. Two, they just replace it with more floodgates. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oof. All right, gotta keep going. Gonna 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 push through. <laughs> Talk about misery. Another rank up, huh? Another lost coin flip too. Jeez, Louise. Can I catch a break? Glad I uh, glad I played the world for the one game where I got to go first, and then swap back to a different deck. Uh, this hand is combo, but I'm going second, and I'm playing Ash Blossom in Sprite Meta. So they're going to, you know, normal summon Swap Frog, send Ronin Toad, and uh, special summon Blue. Oh, uh, if you're an Extravagance deck, then I probably have to Ash Blossom your Extravagance. That's just no other option. <laughs> this game's taking years off my life. Yeah, this meta is absolutely dog water. Didn't it feel good to beat him? A little, but not by much, because it was so... <laughs> The misery was so much higher. Okay, Elblitch, man. It's crazy that in this day and age, I'm okay seeing Elblitch going first. Like, they're still going to floodgate me out of this game, but I'm just not as mad as I usually am. <laughs> set four. Oh, no, only set three. So this is probably like Elblitch in hand or something. Or Interesting hand. Uh, all right. Well, uh, they're going to go into Scarlet Sanguine Conquistador, pop my first Spire Resort, but I have the second Spire Resort, so I'm not that nonplussed about it. Ooh, Dragon Ravine's pretty spicy here, too, but I think with double Nessie, I'm okay just, like, you know, playing into whatever this is. Nothing? Not gonna pop it? Sick. Okay, um, normal summon quick fix. <laughs> they conceded. Sick. I guess they did not have access to Eldritch, so they were just going to lose. A lot of floodgates today. That's something I've noticed. I'm still not going to play Harvey's Feather Duster. I'm not going to play that garbage brick. I don't need bricks. I just win going second anyhow, as you guys can see. It has nothing to do with completely incidental luck. I've had some crazy games today. Uh, yeah, this does it. 
in a weird way, but it does it. So prep rights, get soul, get illusion. Illusion gets souls, put back jet. Yeah, I'll game of that. Thanks for the material, buddy. I will need to, like, link these guys off into something. I guess it just makes a lean, right? If I can get enough spells in Graveyard? I'm one spell short, though, right? Back Jet, because I want Jet in the deck, right? Yeah, just makes things easier. So I'll special summon souls. Said Master Plan. Summon. Activate. Okay, they can see. <laughs> Man, this uh, this is you know this rank this part of the rank line going pretty quickly, honestly. <laughs> the me rushing the game resolves. Yeah, right. Pretty funny. Well, this uh, this platinum two has gone fairly swimmingly. Hey, I lost it. In no small part because I won a couple coin flips. Here's here's the second one. Just gotta dodge the the maxi and have combo. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, this gets there actually. I'm gonna bait Ash Blossom with Remus. Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna activate Dragon Ravine. Okay, nothing. So I'm gonna. I will uh, commit to prep rights here. Add Illusion of Chaos. Illusion of Chaos. Add Souls. Put back Illusion of... Actually, I should probably put back this Rescue Mission because it's just a plus one, right? Yeah, because I'm just going to get that search out of Master Plan later. So activate this Illusion of Chaos, this Magician Souls to shuffle that Rescue. Ah, they can see. Sick. <laughs> well, everyone, that was uh, Platinum 2. Went by about... 15 minutes. Not counting the freaking sprite, uh, the 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 other game. Lost for the next one. L plus you bad plus stay math plus hoeless plus small plus cope plus hose math plus skill issue plus get dusted plus one or more non tutor monster. True, true. You forgot. You know, plus add one mission to hand. Well, I do have the Gamma, and I do have Combo on top of the Gamma, so as far as going second hands go, this is one of the better ones. So if it's Sprite, I hope they don't have Red early. Or if they do, they like... Okay, so I just need to... So I'm going to save this Gamma for the Gigantic Sprite pretty much no matter what. Because even if they have Red, chances are they're only going to have Red and Gigantic, and they can't send the Gigantic, so... Sick! Alright, nice nice game. I'm guessing they had a hand of nothing but cards like hand traps that don't do anything or something. I don't know. What, what was his, what was his deck? What could it, what could his hand possibly have been to end like that? Was it just like call by the grave and cross out and stuff? Because they're just playing this guy, right? He's just a free special summon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. Probably drew the driver. That's all I can think of. I mean, that's just that that was full gas sprite. It's got the frog engine, got the ritual beast engine, or the not ritual beast, the dark beckoning summoning beast, whatever you want to call it. The knockoff guard card support. <laughs> Lost another coin flip, but you know, I won two coin flips to get my rank up, so I can't complain too much. That's like my phrase, like I shouldn't complain, I can't complain. Even though I love complaining. This hand is extremely good, but I'm going second. So it's not that good. Because <laughs> it doesn't they really... It, it can play through hand traps, but it probably can't play through, like, regular disruption, which is funny. It's got redundancy, but it lacks, like, board-breaking capability. <laughs> For the people who are saying, hey, Small World, what if it was Dark World No More? The problem here is, imagine this exact game. I activate Dark World No More into a deck that's running Super Factorial. 
doesn't do anything. It's, it's, it's a lot better than the sprite, I, I will concede. The sprite does have smashers, which could screw up that uh, that plan. Uh, so I need a call by the grave or forbidden droplets here. Preferably forbidden droplets. A forbidden droplets instantly wins me this game and because I can probably play through whatever hand traps they have. I think. Maybe not. Alan Burt! Ooh, Royal Alan Burtion. This guy's fancy. I wonder what Math Mech's gonna do. Are they going to uh, end on, like, Wicked Mascarena? Are they going to end on uh, Heat Soul Mascarena? Are they going to end on... <laughs> I've seen him end on a Bitchwiller before. That was a funny one. Beat me. And once Tear comes into the format, I assume they're all going to be on a Bitchwiller. Just like to summon off Parallax Seeds. Code talker, whoa, dude, you're 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 getting a little spicy here. That's a pretty spicy play. I think you need to calm down. Transco talker in a cyber deck? I don't know, dude. You, maybe you gotta go to the doctor or something. This is this is too outside the box for Master Duel. Oh my God, they made heat soul! Whoa, what an amazing deck! Now they have a heat soul that can't be targeted by any card effects? Wow! I bet this guy's gonna draw two hand traps. Ooh, he's actually gonna do something else too. He's got no more link zones, so I don't know. Can he Can he make a four here and like end on actually Abyss Driller? Oh, the extra deck's a little tight for that. Oh. Firewall Dragon? What a bozo. <laughs> this is actually pretty good against me, to be honest, because it'll just bounce my Master Plan to hand. I have the Dragon Ravine, so... I, I am just losing to Super Vectoral here. Let's not, you know, mince words. This is, you know, this is spicier tech than I'm used to. I'm going to be honest. That's spicy tech. Alright, uh, let's see if I can, like... Let's see if they'll just... Firewall Dragon, bounce my Master Plan. Or if I get Maxi here, because that's going to be pretty important. Maxi! He did not Maxi me, so he's a man of honor. Gonna super fact now. Okay, so no matter what card they send out of my hand, I can summon Master Plan, but I am kind of stuck under this Fireball Dragon effect. So I gotta play through that. Uh, it depends on if they have hand traps, right? Because I can still Remus for Ravine, Destrudo, Ancient Fairy Dragon, uh, and that'll give me some plays. Yeah, there's Laplacian. I am under a negate from Laplacian, though, so that's true. I think I'm dead to that, really. That's more the card that's hurting me here. I hope they hit prep rights. That'd be funny. Oh, Terraforming was the best hit for them. That sucks. So send my souls. All right, so... Mm. I was really hoping they hit prep rights there. Uh, that's basically the same as if I had activated Terraforming Went Spire Resort, Summon Souls, and then they Laplacian me. But they would have gotten one more card out of my hand, so I guess that worked out for me. Um, I got Master Plan in hand, so... If I Remus for... I gotta make sure I click so I don't get timed out. If I Remus for Dragon Ravine, Dragon Ravine, discard Nessie, send to Strudo. If they negate that, I can Nessie add... 
Jack, Small World for Quick Fix, Normal Summon Quick Fix, Big Red Master Plan. They Firewall Dragon Bounce Master Plan, and I lose. Right? That's just how it is. So if all of that is the case, I need to activate Nissi. Please negate. Ooh, that's a bad start. <laughs> they have like an ash blossom? I do have the Ash Blossom. Okay, that is game, right? It's like the small world doesn't do anything. Yeah, you got it. I mean, the Ash Blossom is going to stop Dragon Ravine anyhow, so even if I don't snipe there, I just have to... It depends on what I draw, I guess, but yeah. Well, I lost that coin flip. It happens. My win streak! Oh no! Ah, dang. I was hoping to get Diamond by the end of the day, but I'm not really that stuck on the idea. I, my coin flips, man. I think I'm like 70% loss on the day. I had a lot of losses early on. Oof, Dragon Ravine and Destrudo in hand. A little, little gnarly. I feel like Dragon Ravine to add Remus to have a one-for-one -one card? Nope, that doesn't make sense. Ooh, Branded Despia. Interesting. Well, once again, Droplets wins this. <laughs> you see why we run Droplets. Card is nutso going second. Every single time I'm like, man, I'd really love a Droplets here. Droplets would be the game, and it's true. <laughs> Allure, yep. Where are you banishing? Did you get the uh, tragedy? Did you, did you draw the nut allure target? Nope, ad libitum. Weird one to send, honestly. Okay, full spiral, sure. That'll get them to branded fusion. Epson Tragedy! If Scar sits at the graveyard or banished by card effect, you can add one Despia monster from your deck to your hand. They will add a Luber, the Jester of Despia. Then they will normal summon a Luber, the Jester of Despia. Then they will add a Branded Fusion to their hand. Then they will activate Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion will summon Lubelian by sending, I don't know, Albaz and something, because they've already used Tragedy, maybe Comedy, who knows. Uh, and then they will use Lubelian's effect to summon Mirror Jade, and then, <laughs> you know, uh, whatever. At that point, I don't know if they have the branded red in hand or not. <laughs> the best deck of four formats again, right here, everybody. Luber the Goober, yeah. What a funny little guy. Look at him. He's just having so much fun. He just loves, like, corrupting people and stuff and whatnot. It's crazy this card's still limited to two. Branded SB has more hits to it than Sprite. How insane is that? And what did they send? They sent Albion. Sure. There's Lubes. This card, Banishment. Okay, sure. <laughs> Mirror Jade, whoa! 
I don't know. I don't think they send snow because they just rarely ever have the graveyard material for it. Like this only did it because they had all these freaking draw spells. It's not particularly common. All right, so trigger Alubi. Oh, they're playing Retribution. Cool. Add back banishment, sure. Let's get some another mirror jade functionally, right? Yeah. So I did not activate mirror jade, so they already had the branded in red. Now they're gonna masquerade me. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think I can win this one. They they pretty much had everything, right? I'm gonna be on masquerade, and my extension is Destrudo here. Yeah, there's Masquerade. And that's so that's branded in red, branded retribution. So they have like triple mirror jade here. It's pretty insane. I think I'm just dead to this freaking tax dragon. <laughs> that's the funniest part of all of this. I don't really need to worry about playing this resort. Oh, the last card, Ash. Okay, I did not play around that, I guess. Maybe I should have led on Dragon Ravine then? Because I didn't know I had Destrudo in hand? I don't know. It's kind of a wonky idea to... Discard Assault Mission here to add Remus. This doesn't actually do anything. I'm just like trying to get Assault Mission in the graveyard. I'm going to lose to Guardian Chimera on Spire Resort though. Like The fact that Spire Resort burns me twice for this dipshit is so annoying. I shouldn't curse, but... YouTube no likey the cursing. This game's just over, right? I had I had all extenders and I can't I'm not gonna be able to break through that first mirror jade. Yeah, let's just let's just call it a day. Let's just call let's just call it a day. I don't even know why I'm wasting time here. Let's gotta get, get on to a new game where I get to go first. God, I wish I had gone first that game with that hand. I could have played right through that Ash Blossom. Boy, can I win some coin flips? That'd be that'd be appreciable, you know. I mean, I've won a lot of games going second today. Now I've, I've ranked up twice or three times, really. Ooh, this is not a good hand. <laughs> Hopefully it's Math Mech and they can't be a call by the game. Well, step one, Math Mech. Alright, that's going to get into Circular because that's Alan Bershon. So, could I beat... I still probably need a Droplets because they can end on Mascarina into Appaloosa. This hand does not go far into that. They also end up on a billion hand traps, so I'm gonna have to like Illusion of Chaos put back a small world, I guess. Then I can small world the Illusion of Chaos away for a quick fix. Then I can Souls Quick Fix under Called by the Grave. If they like hand trap me at that point, I can Souls Effect draw a card off of Kayest. It's something. Droplets actually isn't good here because I. Well, no, I can lose. I won't have a monster in hand, right? Because I can't send my souls. I guess if they if they let me resolve Illusion of Chaos before going to Alan Burchin, then Droplets would be good. Because then I can like. No, it's still pretty bad. I don't know. I don't think the hand does it. It's just the double. The second small world is what's getting me here. It's just not a real card.
Did, did they? They added circular, right? I'm not going crazy. They're doing some other stuff first. What? I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, excuse me. They, they gotta be just trying to set something up. I don't know what this is. Okay, there's the circular. Up left and right. I don't know. I don't think so. That'd be a really weird one. All right, here they go. So I guess they were just setting up Lingery, though, on top of the whole super pack line. This will come to Mascarena, so they'll have Mascarena for three. And to Apo. I'm really hoping the Skull by the Grave puts them work, because they're not going for Heat Soul, so maybe they don't have a lot of hand traps. Lingerie was kind of annoying, because if they leave it on the field, it stops a rescue mission. That's like one of my weirder outs here. Problem is, like, Illusion of Chaos will give them a prompt to go into Mascarena, and then Mascarena... Ooh, hello. There's Ellen Burshen. Okay. Then Mascarena can, um... This guy, this guy retain his effect, his, his the gate. Uh, oh, this guy does get the... So he's going to have two negates here, because of... Well, he's he's going to run out of space on the field for super effect. He's gonna go into Mascarena to clear up space, I guess. Sure, yeah. Oh, that'll. Mm. He still has to go into Mascarena, but that'll, that'll give him the negate plus Mascarena. Yeah, that does it really. They're going to have a diameter gate already, which is annoying, because that'll stop my call by the grave, right? Huh. I mean, yeah, good play. Now, normally Cybers, uh, normally Math Deck's pretty brain-dead, straightforward, same combo every turn, but they're actually doing a little bit of, you know, utility here to get the extra negate. Kind of taking a while, though. Splash Mage, okay. Oh, it's only for this turn? Okay, I, it, it never matters, so I never consider, like, if it lasts more than one turn, but yeah, okay, so. They just need to link this guy off, then. There we go, Mascarena. Okay, that was a little, ooh, excuse me, a bit more complicated than it should have been, but whatever. Set super fact, okay. I still think I lose to Appaloosa here, because his hand is kind of janky. Does Jet Seeker do it? No. It's like this gives them a prompt to go into Appaloosa. Ooh, hello. So we'll add souls. Put back the second small world because it don't do nothing. I'll activate souls. Send master plan. Okay, well they had Maxi too. Ugh, why do I have to go second into Maxi constantly? So I have to use this. This hand cannot win against the El Resolve Laplacian, so I have to hold call by the grave here. But now I'm just like under Maxi. It's like, what do I freaking do, right? You got it, dude. You got it. Oh, now they don't even have to freaking summon their... 
Appaloosa to this zone to give me link material, because I know I'm a link deck. That's actually pretty smart. This guy played this very well, but I'm still under frickin' Maxi. Oh, man. Why even try to play Yu-Gi-Oh, dude? Why even try to play Yu-Gi-Oh? It's just Maxi Turbo every gay. I had the call by the grave too, but it doesn't matter because I'm going second. Oh boy. Yeah, so I'm going to call by the grave here. Sanders doesn't do it under Appaloosa. Hit the diameter so they don't get the negate. And it's like, you know, how, how could I play around Maxi? I, I can't, right? It's like, okay, this guy did, did his full combo, as good as he could make it, and he also had max scenes. Pretty rough. Now I'm just going to draw him into a million hand traps. So I'm going to try to bait one of these Appaloosa activations off of this Rod of Silence discard. Sure. And I got a small world. Send this useless illusion of chaos and jackalope. Had quick fix, but this just doesn't do anything. I'm dead to the Appaloosa, right? I think I was dead regardless of Maxi, but the fact that I had to play under Maxi too is just the biggest pain in the butt ever. You know, if this Jetstone Grown was a different draw, like there's a bunch of cards in my deck that, you know, continue to extend me here, so I could have won. Just attack over it with souls. That is not how that works. You know, it's 18, 800 attack. Also, if I give up my battle phase, they've drawn a million cards off Maxi, so I lose. They update Ax they can they can update Axico talker me right now. <laughs> Based on in graveyard material and the on field material. So his his question is, do I already have the revival effect in hand? If I do, this is a terrible Appaloosa activation. I don't, so I lose. And it, uh, his logic would be at that point, well. You know, if he has the revival, he has the revival. I'm max seeing him. Ooh, rough. I'm gonna derank. Wow, just lose coin flip turbo, everyone. Okay, now dodge the maxi and actually get a win here, please. Uh, this hand don't do jack shit. Wow, I bricked. I bricked on hand traps and forbidden droplets and going second cards. That's fun. They have an Ash Blossom because this was Ash Blossomable. Man, I'm done. I'm done for the day, everyone. <laughs> I have four interactions, I guess. I'm, I'm going to end up droplets in this jackalope. To turn on my gamma, then I have Ash Gamma Droplets called by to stop them. Oof. All, all, I'm playing all these dumb cards I have to play because it's Master Duel. Uh, that's the easiest call by of my life. Oh, it banishes. Uh, Ash Blossom, then sure. Just play Sword Soul. No! Also, it's not like Sword Soul doesn't play Call by the Grave, Ash Blossom, Hand Traps. What do you mean, just play Sword Soul? See, they didn't even have the answer. Uh, does that do it? I think that does it.
Cool, I do have the call by the grave. Okay, so I actually need to think about what I gotta do here. So if I get drone, that doesn't do it. If I if I get big red, big red quick fix. So let's say okay, so let's say I get big red, link rebo, link rebo. Okay, so I have to get drone, go to link rebo, discard drone. Big red, uh, rescue mission quick fix, big red drone. That combos. Okay, yeah. So I gotta get drone first because I have the rescue mission in graveyard. Sure. That was a poor mistake, opponent. That does not stop me at all. Rescue mission quick fix. I guess it gets me off a ward on if they have another hand trap here. They had another hand trap here. Hilarious. This is the trial of errors here. This is... This is purgatory. I'm in purgatory. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't even do anything. And this guy's sitting on three hand traps. That's why he bricked. Oh my lord. Sure, asshole. I get it. This is the luckiest son of a bitch I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Three hand traps, fusion destiny off the top. Fusion destiny off the top, folks. I hope he tries to pop this card with DPE and I can gamma. Oh my god, I get to gamma his DPE. No, no, no. You can do this part. Now the DPE revival effect. I can Gamma! <laughs> no! Oh my god, are you kidding me, you son of a piece of garbage human being? What the hell is this game? What is this game? What is going on? I'm gonna derank to this nonsense? Please draw a call by the grave. Oh my god. I'm actually sick to my stomach. Six hand, his hand, his hand was only fusion destiny, hand traps, adventure starter. That was the only cards he he had. That was the only thing he did. Ash, Ash, Maxi, Ghost Ogre, Fusion Destiny, Enchanter. This was this that was this guy's six cards. And he and he he made the stupidest decision ever to waste his DP on a back row that clearly did nothing. And I had the out, and he had the out for the out. Predator Plant Verti If this guy sends fusion uh, branded fusion, I'm going to have I'm just gonna I'm not gonna uninstall, but this guy playing heroes, he's freaking running, he's running Enchantress, he can't be running heroes. That makes no sense. It's just PK, it's clearly PK, but like, okay, I have to gamma this, I guess. Oh my god, I wanted to save this for like a Spire Resort or something, but... What are, you, what are you waiting on, dude? It's just all you got left is a DP. This doesn't do anything. 
If this other card's Ash, I'm gonna third Ash. Uh, what wins this game for me here? Like, if I draw a rescue mission and I jackalope discard rescue mission, that might do something. Uh, jackalope draws a master planner. I don't know. I don't think anything does it. He's got DPE effect up, up which is the, the thing he can do. Oh, man. Okay. All right, well, we're going to start Fire and Danger, see what happens. No fucking way. I hope this snipes. Uh. Have fun. Your turn. I hate Maxi so much, man. It's it's actually ruined my day. This is the worst game ever. Like, that dumb Runic game where I had to, like, stress out to win. That dumb Floodgate Cyber Dragon game. This is the worst. This absolute bozo beyond bozos. Watch this be freaking, um, Fogblade. Watch it. Watch, watch this be Fogblade. <laughs> what a game. What a game. What a life. Um, yeah. Your turn, dude. I wish I had Link Reba in play. It won't matter anymore because all my quick fixes are in the graveyard. So Link Reba does nothing. Eh, might as well use it. Because he's just going to pop my quick fix anyhow with his DP, and that'll get his. Is uh, fog blade in the graveyard? I hate Maxi, man. Okay, I'm done, guys. I deranked on stream for you because of I just the absolute most absurd luck of all time. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a, call the day there. Uh, that that was the worst game of my life. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me in uh, abject misery into Double Maxi, Double Ash, Fusion Destiny, Enchantress, just the, the goaded hand, the goaded player. Anyhow, I'm going to play an ad and call today. That I mean, I, I, I was going to end in 10 more minutes, but the D rank kind of got me down. Right, we'll, we'll play another. We'll play a dual live to sing us out, everyone. 